a deafening crack of thunder. Lyra, you are awoken with rain sharp on your skin. You jerk awake, your sextant dangling loosely in your hand, trying to get your bearings in this darkness and driving rain as the deck is rolling violently beneath you. Suddenly, a sharp, familiar scent of ozone as you feel your hair begin to stand on end. In that brief moment, you hear a desperate battle cry from the aft of the ship as the whole deck illuminates in an eerie green-white light. Time seems to slow as you see the boom swing across the deck wildly, sweeping an unwitting figure over the side. But the flash of light recedes, leaving you in darkness again, blinking against the after images. The clap of thunder follows immediately after, the kind that makes your bones rattle. A crash as a heavy spar drops from the mainmast, smoking. The ship lists violently to the port side and veers off course as the sounds of battle from across the deck get louder and louder, but still barely audible over the wind. Piper. Battling the storm, crossing the deck to relieve Lyra on watch, who you already know has fallen asleep. <laughs> Thunder crashes. And you see lightning begin to hit the mainmast. So distracted by that flash of light, you do not see the heavy boom come swinging across the deck towards you. Marlo, sleeping on the aft side of the ship in your quarters, slightly more upscale quarters as the ship's doctor, as is your right, in the back of the ship. You're awoken by that thunder. And directly above you, there's a clash of metal on metal and the sounds of a struggle. Dis, sleeping in your regular position on the prow of the ship, you sense something. And as thunder begins to roll, you know that something isn't right. <clears throat> Lyra, what yeah. would you like to do? Am I awake or am I asleep? Great, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I, with the, the glow and the light and um, this familiar sense of ozone, I, um, I straighten up and then I grab my, um, my scimitar and I run towards the light. Um, this will be difficult because of the environment. Right, the ship is like rocking and moving. It's wet, it's dark. Yes. Um, um huh, no. <laughs> that is a veil. I, I don't even know what my thing is, but it's an 81 I rolled, so. Okay, so you uh, were uh, not able to make your way as quickly as you yeah. can. Uh, also, with the obstruction suddenly of this uh, mm -hmm. of this boom coming towards you, and the uh, wreckage of that part of the main mast that has fallen to the deck and started to smoke, Piper. The first thing you see is that uh, boom coming towards you. It's about to sweep you over the side. What would you like to do? I would like to try and dodge, and I will admit I'm not good at it. <laughs> <laughs> Strong words. <laughs> Should I have taken a little more in my dodge? Maybe. Uh, oh, that's gonna be a that's gonna be a, a failure oh, as no. well. Where's the dodge? <laughs> hey, why do you roll a secondary uh, to hold on real tight? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna choose different dice. Uh, that's fun. Uh, that is a success. What skill is that? Is that uh, like an additional? I would is that a grapple. That, you could you could call it a grapple, uh, or you could call it um, just a, a like straight up strength. Yeah, uh, I will take that, and that is success. If it's like your effort in coordinates to your strength, uh, that is a success. Okay, so you are able to cling on as this is now <laughs> swinging wildly <laughs> over the side as the waves are starting to. Uh, Not my first time. Crash <laughs> quite high over over the side there, Marlo. You've been awoken by the sounds of a struggle. What do you do? I am going to grab my sword and my pistol and start. Uh, I imagine I'm. I have to get dressed and grab weapons <laughs> and kind of deal with the rocking of the ship. So, do I'm, you get dressed or do you just grab weapons and go? I. You see, I want ah. pants. 
So I am going to to meet death with pants on, um, and my sword in hand, and kind of not a requirement. The dignity. <laughs> <laughs> dignity doctor. Dignity doctor. <laughs> pants, please. <laughs> I imagine running through the hull of the ship while it's rocking this hard is really like pinballing from Absolutely. one wall to the other. Climb? Can I roll climb? Or, or dodge? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whichever, whichever one, honestly, that you feel. You can, I'm yeah, pick, pick, really pick good at that, dodging. Yeah. It seems smart to be really good at dodging. Here's the thing. <laughs> I'm, I'm a soft, soft girl. Soft doctor. Um, uh, yeah, I very succeed. So you were able to, as uh, as you very succeed, excellent, love that for you. Uh, That's the phrasing in the book. Yeah. <laughs> you, you were able to make your way up to the deck very quickly. Uh, you, the, the location of your quarters is very close to the captives. Um, just one level down, you know how it is. Hierarchy is important here. Uh, as you are able to make your way onto the deck and you f suddenly feel that just driving force of wind and rain and just utter darkness, you see uh, your captain, Grace Beckett, uh, at the ship's wheel, as is her, uh, as is her position, especially uh, at this time of the evening. But she's in a struggle with some kind of hooded figure over that wheel. Dis, yeah. what would you like to do? Uh, the masthead opens their eyes, uh, all wood, and I split my understanding of myself in two as I like peel myself off the front of the ship and then uh, like peek over to assess what's going on on the deck that is me, but not me specifically in this moment. Does we don't have to get lost in the minutia? Identity is what's happening. <laughs> On which part of you? Um, just the main deck. Like if I peek over and look at the main deck, uh, what chaos am I seeing on my on my deck? Uh, as you are the most intimately familiar with the goings on of the ship, you were able actually to gain awareness a little bit sooner than Lyra awoke. Mm. So as you peer over, you see Lyra uh, begin to turn, startled awake as that flash of lightning strikes uh, your main mast and you feel that break and you begin to feel that beginning of that spark of fire. You feel that swing of your boom catch Piper, and but you feel her clinging on, but know that she is in dire straits. You can feel the waves begin to try and pry her off of you. And at the very back of yourself, you feel Marlo rising up to see the captain, Captain Beckett, struggling with a presence that you haven't felt for a very long time. And your awareness is pulled into that ship's wheel, a place that you're very familiar with. It's a place you like to be. Yeah. Not right now. Oh. As you feel that push and pull and that struggle, that desperation, as you sense the emptiness of the creature struggling for ownership of you. Mm. No. <laughs> and Lyra, as you make your way to the captain, the sound of struggle getting louder you see Marlo pop up from below decks, make desperate eye contact for a moment, and turn to Grace as she struggles with a, that hooded figure, knocks their hood away, and it turns to you with that empty, soulless stare that expression that you haven't seen for a very long time, since you all first came together as a crew. With inhuman speed, the solace reaches for where Grace's sleeve has just slipped back and grasps her bare skin. And as it makes that physical contact, 
the tension leaves Grace's body as her eyes empty and she chokes, fists tightening on the wheel as her empty eyes gaze out over the horizon and that wall of water begins to bear down on the ship. Another crack and rumble of thunder, Lyra, as you jerk awake again. Uh, welcome to Salt and Serpent, a story of rainbow romance and revenge, where we not only support women's rights, but more importantly, we support women's wrongs. <laughs> In partnership with Chaosium <laughs> on their basic role-playing system, this is the first of four episodes entitled Widow's Watch. Ooh. We are joined by a notorious crew of very sexy scalawags. Uh, let's meet them. Hello, I am Sage Ryan, and I am playing Piper, your first mate. Hi, I'm Abria Iyengar, uh, playing Dis, your ship's ship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm Rowan Hall. I am playing Marlo Clark, your ship's surgeon. <laughs> um, hi, I'm Serena Marie. I'll be playing uh, Lyra Polaris, your ship's navigator. And I am Kaylee Bray, and I will be helming this ship as your captain. Let's jump right back into that adventure. Yeah. Wakey, wakey, Lyra. You get those new bearings yet? I want to get going ahead of that. Uh, as your captain calls over to you, uh, uh, taking a nap on the beach where you have moored to resupply and gather a few things for repairs. And you look over to the horizon where you see these bruising thunderclouds just begin to gather. Do you have a nightmare? Um, yeah. Um, was it one of your nightmares or one of your nightmares? It's hard to say. Uh, I think it was a ni nightmare. Like, um, maybe we should be more cautious. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. You know, I just, I'm happy to see you. Because things were not good for you in my dream. Uh, so, okay, let's... Um, we can unpack it later, honestly. Well, maybe, because there's a storm coming. Oh, yeah, yeah, that tracks. Uh, oh, that makes did, sense. You, did you dream about a storm? Did, yeah, yeah, storm there was a giant then? storm, uh, lightning, magical lightning. Uh, someone, hooded figure, came to you, killed you, and took the ship, stole it. Hey! hey! Is someone getting killed? Me, apparently. <laughs> what? I mean, maybe. With, let's Are you doing it? No, 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 no. I, you said maybe. I mean, that sounds like a threat. <laughs> it's not. It's, it's not a threat. It's like a like a promise. I, I'm not in charge of. You know. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's freaky. You're freaky. This hey, smaller. <sighs> yes. Yeah, so. And I just kind of like peek in from behind the door. <laughs> I love listening. Like I kind of tend to gather wherever several people are talking. Hi, Captain. How are you? Uh unsettled I'm i am alive. not a part of this apparent mutiny wait are we mutiny? Oh, no, no, there's oh, no mutiny. I'm not it's all mutiny. jokes we're all having a great time yeah it, you all know i can't mute, you can't mute me without me <laughs> no, i don't think that's in you wouldn't you be the thing we mute no we would yes, never do that that's the joke that's the joke oh got it yeah. okay i'm gonna write that down all right uh <laughs> Lyra, yeah. morning, will you please explain what you saw? Oh, sure. Uh, so I had a dream. And, you know, they're, sometimes they're, they come true and sometimes they don't. So medium right. alarm. Um, but you were on the bow of the ship. There was a hooded figure uh, with no soul at all. Mm -hmm. An empty vessel that was alive, right? And swooped up touched you and with their hands sucked your life out uh like instantly like yeah life or soul oh uh good question hard to say mm, not okay. sure uh light left captain's eyes completely gone hit the deck uh oh, no. that could be asleep but it felt like death mm. so so sorry captain but you're you're hey not happening right now 
happening potentially in the future. Not happening in the future because we'll find them and we'll kill them first. Were yeah. there any things happening in the dream? Was there anything you saw that would let you know when and where this might have occurred? Also, um, there was a storm. Like mm. that storm? It, yeah, like that storm. There's lots of storms. But storms happen all the time. It's weather, right? Weather, we, you navigate. The, the, no, I mean, I navigate, you navigate. But, but hey, we're a team. We're a team. Look at us. Wait, hold on, hold on. Back sorry, up. sorry, sorry. Were we at sea during the storm? Absolutely, yes. So if we stay on land during the storm, I guess here's my question. How did it get to the captain? How did it get through all of us? So That would never happen. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's why I don't know if it's real, because it is so improbable to me that you would slip and that you would be. I wouldn't. You slip. You wouldn't. No, I didn't slip. I wouldn't let you. You didn't. No, like you're in. You're graceful. And who was I? You were watching. You were sleeping. I just watched. No, well, you helped grab Piper. Okay, good. Um, wow, you were right. You said you would catch me. Yeah, and you were. I think what's gonna happen. Jostled awake, and I. I don't know. And I was on the. Oh. I fell asleep on duty, so I'll just not do that. Sorry, I didn't mean to, uh, it's, it's in the morning. It, I didn't mean to like unsettle no, you the no, no, first thing no, 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 I mean, look, we're here, in the morning. we were here to get supplies, right? Yeah. Fresh water, some, uh, some timber to reinforce the mast and the hull. Yeah, how are you feeling about that? You, you good? Oh, I would love some new timber. I mean, yeah, that feels yeah. right. Does it hurt you like when the ship gets broken? Does that hurt? Doesn't it hurt you when you get broken? Yes. So I was just making sure because I yeah it feels bad. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I sorry. That's no, okay. I just was curious. That's okay. So it sounds like maybe we we stick to the original. I'm not going to be no just living in fear of every single storm that we like. We're not staying on this island forever. We can't. So it's your proverbial death, not ours. Can I roll a no to see if I can identify anything about the described like soulless figure? Yeah. Because it was described in the vision potentially as like something familiar mm -hmm. or like not in a long time. Uh, that is exactly my no. Nice. Got it. Um, it's not going to get me much. It's no, not no, a no, great you did, role, no, but, you, but you, you got it. You got it. Yeah. Uh, so you remember, this does sound familiar, um, and it is something that you all referred to as the soulless back when you were all coming up together before your captain was your captain. Yeah. There was someone else. Uh, a little bit in Dis's infancy. Yeah. Uh, you remember that there was an incident with your previous captain and a throng of odd individuals with empty eyes who were very dangerous. And it put all of you at such risk that you came together and you protected each other. Seeing that, you recognized it. Okay, cool. That was something, it was unmistakable. Great. I remember that event kind of nicely because mm -hmm. now we're all here. Yeah, that's, and, and it's kind of why, well, I didn't mean to scare you too. I mean, sometimes things that I know are echoes of things and places where we've been. You don't have to apologize for giving us information that could be useful. Okay, it's fine. We'll keep a 24 hour watch. Uh, what if we head out before the storm? That's a great idea. We should get going quickly then. Uh, I'm gonna start loading everything up. Can I... you just cover up your skin so you don't get touched and die? I will also do that. Yeah, with gloves. Just in case, I think we still should do the repairs. If if there's still weakness in the mainmast or any of the like crossbars, if something falls mm -hmm. or breaks yeah. or burns. Did did any of that did any of that happen? Oh yeah. Was there a fire? Oh good. Was you have to start if there's a fire. I don't remember. I don't remember. Um let's just say yes for peak danger. Cause, cause, it, cause okay, let's just so like it was bad for everyone. It was bad actually. for everyone. Yeah. I'll start yeah. reinforcing the boat. If we're looking for something that's gonna reinforce with the chop stuff. Yes. Oh Sorry. God. I'll grab the axe. Mm -hmm. uh, I normally I the best uh, pieces of timber that we're gonna need are gonna be a little bit further inland, less affected by by the sea. If we if we do those repairs, 
and we are able to uh, get out of here quickly. I'll finish the load, and uh, if if you all are able to just watch out for each other, of course. Mm -hmm. um, no one should be on a, an island like this on their own. Um, I'll stay by the beach. Mm -hmm. I'll let you know if anything happens. If anyone comes to kill me, <laughs> it won't be here. Right. Yeah, so I'll <laughs> be fine. Uh, and it's just if we can get this done as quickly as possible, head out and we'll head to we'll head into port. Yes, yeah. Is that comforting? If if Lyra's vision is true, then you know when you die. So anything until then isn't going to be the thing that kills you. Yeah. <laughs> um, being on a ship in a storm is, is an occasion that does happen a little bit often for me. No, I mean like now. But now, like but now, the... now, I feel great. Uh, <laughs> can't die here. Can't die here. Uh, the imagining spending my whole life on land so that mm -hmm. I don't die at sea, mm -hmm. terrible. Mm -hmm. yeah. And also because I told you I've affected the stream of fate that is an undercurrent of everything. And so it be kind of becomes a chaos thing. So it's kind of hard to say now when you'll die if I would have kept it to myself. Don't, don't talk your way out I, in the morning. You also like, listen, Lyra, love you. We all um, love you. The last time you had a very scary dream. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't go fishing or eat fish for three months. So that's like, it's guilt. I have guilt a little bit about that because I know that we need. Okay, uh, I'm gonna walk up and I'm just gonna like arm shake mm -hmm. with the captain so that we can go get some. <laughs> yeah. What? Uh -huh. um, There's no faith the can't be manipulated. And I will shake the like, in like a hearty kind of arm shake with the captain and put the ax over my shoulder and head deeper into the wilderness. I did, cause I am not, I'm, I'm a little strong, but I don't like outside and land. Uh, I grab the ax uh, and another ax and kind of just kind of drag it behind you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna take my sword and start, you know, having at the brambles in your way. <laughs> uh, Dis kind of stares back at the ship and uh, swallows discomfort being farther from the rest of uh, itself and immediately follows Piper. Thank you for taking care of her. Yeah, got it. You're not going to die. I'm not going to die here. But yeah. they, they honestly might be in more danger. <gasps> That's right. They could die. They, they absolutely could die here. Uh, careful. This island is, you know, hey, there's stories about it being haunted and stuff. So if you see a ghost, let me know. Oh, cool. I don't think this. I don't think this is a ghost. While we walk, I will describe what a ghost is. Thank you uh, to you, or at least what the like different theories on the afterlife and ghosts are to you. Okay. <laughs> Every time you say the word theory, I'm just gonna go. That's true. Or, That's true. Or, <laughs> or, no, no, not that yeah. one. Well, some people believe. <laughs> they say that the ghost has uh, got that lookout on top of the cliff, trying to, uh, and she's a widow, which is Mana's favorite. So maybe you can woo her and have her grant us safe passage. <laughs> Damn it, I'm a doctor, not a. No, I am That's, a flirt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good and luck, if there don't happens die. to be good trees up towards the point, you could stop by. We'll head in that direction. Yeah, we'll just head in that direction. And uh, Grace will just kind of nod to all of you, give a wave, and start slinging um, like these uh, like water skins over her shoulder to bring back up to the ship and refill the barrels. All right. Uh, I think that means Marlo's leading, cutting down the mm -hmm. branches and path. Yeah. Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and roll. Pick a relevant skill. I'll let you pick Thank a relevant God, skill. God, because if you picked strength, this would go <laughs> oh my God. so quickly. Um, I guess I'm going to roll an attack on the weeds roll, yeah. with roll my short down. sword. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. So we did decide double zeros isn't a super success, oh. right? Because it'd be really cool if it if if it was. I I want the record to show that I fought for you <laughs> <laughs> and I lost. I'm sorry. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> You're just hacking the same twig. <laughs> All right, just one I twig over and over. I'm so annoyed. <laughs> 
that this is my job at all, that I'm a... Uh, I'm kind of doing the look of hacking at the week. Hurt <laughs> <laughs> you yourself or somebody else. Oh. I'll, me. I'll take me. <laughs> uh, you can... No, I'll, I'll hurt myself because I'd have to patch one of you guys up. <laughs> <laughs> no, lots of stuff just buffs right out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, roll, roll your damage for your sword. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. I do five points of damage to myself. You just do two. Oh, do two. You my gosh. Really, that's really funny. Do you mind if I describe what I do? Please. Okay. Um, so I'm hacking and not paying attention. I'm mostly listening to Piper describe what ghosts are and kind of interjecting. And without paying attention, I like nick off one of the skeleton knuckles on my finger and have to stop and go looking for it in the underbrush. Roll oh. an additional, who's, who's you're right behind her, right? Yeah, absolutely. You, you are in conversation explaining what ghosts are. Yeah, I'm yeah. walking with Dis right behind uh, yeah. talking about ghosts. So then I'll say everyone roll a, some some kind of spot check. Okay. Also, I want to know what you look like. I was oh, about to say that. We should, can we do a little roundabout description? Uh -huh. Sure. Yes. Okay. Um, well, Marlo, who's in the lead, has long, curly red hair, pale skin, and a thousand freckles from being out in the sun. Uh, and she has a big, gnarly scar down the front of her chest that... Um, has just healed with no attention. So it, um, it's very red. And um, most notably, perhaps, where she should have classic human hands, she has skeleton hands. Okay. Now missing one knuckle. I know. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm always losing phalanges. It'd be that way. <laughs> I certainly can't find it. I rolled a 90 for uh, my spot. <laughs> Describe what you yeah, look like yeah. while yeah. you're doing it. Describe yeah. what you look like as you as do you're, not yeah. find it. <laughs> <laughs> do you even notice? You're still talking about ghosts. You don't notice that the bone just went. I don't notice that a uh, tip of your finger has been yeeted into the wilderness at all because uh, I'm trying really hard to describe, but from like a neutral perspective on ghosts. <laughs> like I'm trying not, because this is like, this is important. And I don't want it to be my opinion on ghosts. So Piper is like emphatically describing, uh, she has hair that looks like it might be kind of like a dirty blonde, but when the light catches it, it glows with like just a little bit of like an auburn color to it, like an orange. Um, she has uh, really kind of like makeshift piercings through her eyebrows and nose. Um, definitely looks like every once in a while she'll just find something sharp and kind of stick it. Uh, <laughs> stick it where it goes. Um, she has full sleeves on down both of her arms that are a combination of like nautical creatures uh, wrapped in flowers. Lots of roses going all the way up her arms uh, with a mermaid tail going down the side of it. Um, and she definitely wears something that is like highly practical in it. Uh, it is an outfit that is uh, like well structured and corseted, um, but she uh, looks nimble in the way that she moves in it. It's very well fitted to her body to be able to navigate. Uh, it's got a 31, so I, I would love to find it. Jeez, uh, what does it look like as you? Well, it's one of those things where like it kind of rolls towards Dis's boot and uh, it's gonna kind of flick it up and catch it in her hand. Mm -hmm. And we kind of see on the pan up uh, a lot of like mismatched, very slouchy, uh, sort of vaguely pirate. Like this was not an outfit, this is leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, very it's our hand yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Across like a, like a six foot, like dark, frame but like as you look closer uh her dark skin has like wood grain to it and she's just a highly polished masthead of some sort of siren uh her braids are like sculpted into a single unit that comes down over her shoulder mm -hmm. and she's got like a a hat that you can see like little notches because she's like a masthead is slightly bigger mm -hmm. than like human size so like <laughs> a lot of her clothing has like little cuts in it so it can like fit onto uh, <laughs> its structure and I kind of just pick it up and go thank you, you want it mm -hmm. okay well we're getting more spot look you're like me we're here to get more of me so when I lose a finger 
but it's amassed, I can put it back. So it shouldn't make you uncomfortable. You're the best. Aw, thank you. No, you. As practical as Dis looks, Marlo looks impractical. She's basically flouncing and then goes full scarlet. <laughs> oh, she's a blush. Uh, gosh, uh, Lyra is just like bringing up the rear. Um, she's sort of, um, I rolled a, a, a 25. So oh, you rolled better than me. No, I want you to find it because I saw it, but I am in my own brain right now. Um, and what uh, Lyra is seeing is sometimes like when she's fixating on her dreams, it, it's like reality has like an underwater filter. So things are a little like wobbly. Okay. And so she's bringing up the rear. Um, so she's uh, as she looks towards the camera, um, you see her long wavy hair. It is like tinged green as it goes up. Um, it looks like it had been purposefully dyed that way. Um, and she's wearing a, a very proper coat that is blue and has like large lapels. And it is um, uncharacteristic of most pirates. So it's pretty evident that it was stolen. Um, and the, the rest of her outfit is just very fitted, um, made to move. But on her waist, she has a lot of like bits and baubles um, herbs, bottles, tinctures, um, just like components um, for things that she finds magical. Um, and on her um, like arms is sort of like etchings of a map. So it's like an unfinished map that goes up her arm and she wears a large uh, necklace uh, that was her mother's. Oh, well, mm -hmm. I have that so much. <laughs> As so everyone roll a quick spot check for me. Let's see if anybody noticed this. Absolutely. Yeah. Ooh. I anything. I see everything. I rolled an eight. Oh no, I'm fully distracted by getting my finger back on. Okay. <laughs> this is very funny because we're going to decide if you think this is real. Uh-huh. Yay. Uh -huh. As you see, just, bef just before, you see Marlo take a swing. Mm -hmm. And you see a, like, transparent hand with a, like, long black sleeve catch the blade in tangles and pull as it gets, as her uh, sword gets stuck and she gets herself. And then it, the, the hand just goes away. Just to be clear, Wait. the hand made it better or worse? Worse. Worse. Oh. So yeah. You know what? Hand got your finger. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm gonna like casually walk up to where it was and see if I can just... It's a little itchy. Green stuff there. It's just, it's, it's foliage. Pokey. Not liking that plant or what's up? Oh uh, no, this, uh... Is it poisonous? I don't... It doesn't look poisonous. It's, it's, I don't know. Somebody, um, I'm just, let's just walk. Let's just go. Let's go to the summit. <laughs> the captain is putting all the water in the barrels, but doesn't want to restack the barrels away. We had a discussion about this. You have to stack the barrels. And I'm just going to like clench really hard. And somewhere on the ship, like a piece of rigging swings down and like a little rope just kind of pats the captain. Oh. Right. <laughs> Stack them right. Stack them right. Can you, can you give me a minute? Are you watching them or are you watching me? This, you have one responsibility right now. I understand that this is important. I promise you can rearrange whatever I'm doing when I'm not dead. Please take care of them. All of the rope like runs through a little like mm -hmm. uh, thing and like puddles on the ground <laughs> as an apology. Oh, I just realized you're Casita. Yeah. You're Casita. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh! I'm Janet and Casita. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Oh no. Oh, I'm done. Yay! Yes. Hey. The little barquito. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you, yeah, you get a little bit scolded because yeah. your attention got split. Are you still doing that? Oh yeah, I'm like sort of like, like if you look at me, I am fighting with a shrub, kind of, but like what? subtly, like as much as I can. Um, you know, I, I, I someone 
mess is messing with us maybe uh something is here i i, I feel something um when you have information, you want it. You don't have to be embarrassed. Okay, but what? Um, all right. Fair. Mostly, I want to get out of the woods and get back to places with people in gold. Same. We should go to the thing. Us. Are you, are you looking for? I am this tree. Treating. Yeah. Treating. Yeah. I mean, if you if if you pick a tree you like, I would imagine that you know what tree is the good tree. This one feels correct. It's weird that I can see a tree and the tree isn't me but we'll take the tree and then we'll get the wood and then when it's on the boat, then it's me. That's a good little modification. Yeah. Out of curiosity, does the tree have sentience at all? That? Yeah. That's a tree. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. That'd be so weird if a tree could think. It's so weird. It would be weird. Yeah. Uh, do you want to pick your tree? Yeah, this one. That one? All right. I'll start chopping. Yeah. <gasps> yeah, go ahead and roll for that. What am I rolling? See if you, um, I'll let you use your repair for this. I took structural repair, but <laughs> I still have a failure. Uh, I have a 57 over, or a 56 over 47. Okay, um, if you would like, would you like to help? I would love to help. Go ahead and, and, and roll, I believe you also have structural I repair. Do. 52 under 70, yeah. Ooh. Oh, okay, so nice. it takes a little Longer mm -hmm. than you thought it would. It's a good tree. Need help. It is a, it's it's a really it looks old and very, very strong yeah. and uh unusual for an island like this. It's also relative it's growing relatively straight yeah. instead of the very like bendy, like gnarled trees. Can't relate. <laughs> <laughs> Straightest thing you've seen in a long time. Uh, which you know, important for yep. some parts of boats. Good for boats. Not all boats. Not the whole boat. Yeah. A little bit. A little bit. Sure. A little bit. It's a treat. Chopping. <laughs> Everyone chop this one. Yep. I'm helping chopping. So you are able to uh, take what you need from this tree uh, to be able to reinforce the weakened parts of um, your structure that the captain is concerned about. Mm -hmm. uh, again, it takes a little bit longer. You're starting to hear that thunder. Just roll in a little bit closer, a little bit more loudly. Mm -hmm. um, the winds have started to pick up in that way you're quite familiar with. The sound of bird song has started to quiet. Uh, the light has changed. Uh, you can feel that oncoming storm. Um, we should hurry. Mm -hmm. Now that it's just us, how concerned are we really about the dream? It felt really real. It felt... Um, different than the fish thing that happened. Um, <laughs> that was funny. They were so mad. They were so mad. Everyone was so, so mad. mad. They mostly didn't tell it around you, but I, they were so I mad. I could tell. Um, yeah. But uh, this feels this feels actually dangerous. Um, and we should just, we should head out. I won't let it happen. Um, I also want to let, yeah. We won't let it happen. Yeah, we won't. Um, when they were chopping, Kaylee, um, I rolled to see if I can do an occult mm -hmm. um, because I realized that I have that on my character sheet and I should have been rolling it this entire time. Um, yeah. But I got a one. <gasps> Your dice are so good. Yes. Yeah. These are the ones that were blessed by the moon. Yeah. <laughs> moon dice. Moon dice. Your dice? Yes. Right? Do not let me near those. Hold <laughs> <laughs> those for fun. Get it out of your system. You rolled a one. I rolled a one, yeah, on a cult. And my occult is uh, 60. That is the, that's pretty much the best you can do. Uh -huh. uh, so I'll say this. <laughs> I'm like, it had to happen. Uh, the stories that your captain was mentioning, just like offhand, mm -hmm. you're actually very familiar, you're familiar with most folklore, uh, especially around these parts. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the islands, the depths, it's your special interest. This is something that's very important. I <laughs> love ghosts and stuff. Uh, there are stories about this island um, the, that uh, generations ago, amount of time that is completely forgettable and no one can really understand how long ago this was. Uh, a woman married a pirate mm -hmm. and was then abandoned by him. Oh. And she waited her whole lifetime for him oh. to come back. And he never did. And she still waits. But now, 
as other ships land, new ships land, she knows that when ships leave, she'll be alone again. Oh. Uh, so she will do whatever it takes to keep those ships in her harbor. I communicate all of this nonchalantly. I feel like give us 30 minutes and maybe she'll stop worrying about men. <laughs> I'm with Piper on this one. I mean, we can go to the summit, right? If, if we know that she's going to she keep us here. Yeah. Can you kiss a ghost? I think you We're about to find out. Yeah. Mm. Another rumble of thunder. Oh, we need if to she kiss wants this to be ghost fast. <laughs> right, of course. <gasps> yeah. But I don't know. She seems like she's been waiting a long time. Do you think that we're what she's been waiting for? I mean. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Yeah. Won't she be like, don't leave if she likes you too much? Yeah. So like that's, that was part of the story for sure. Yeah. I mean, okay, okay, okay. So like plan. romance her, but then be very bad. Or help her. But, okay, okay. So that we she have moves ascension. On. Sorry, ship. I, I feel like a hot ghost would fit in well on the crew. I agree. I oh, we just bring her with us. Set of hands. Can ghosts okay, that's not stuff? Funny. We talked about it. We talked about it earlier, and you're like, ghosts are not for touching stuff. I have it in my notes. There's theories. I feel like there's different kinds. Maybe some could pass through, but mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, it depends how much rage they have. If the a boat can be a crew member, a ghost can be a crew member. Oh yeah, you Hold did on. see a ghost touching stuff earlier. If you think maybe, yeah, 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 ghost absolutely. A ghost I, it, like messed with your finger. That's what this is happening. It was actually you're graceful. I feel yeah. like I'm I, the original uh, crew member, and what? all of you are like, if people can be a crew, <laughs> then a ghost can be a crew. Because like, what's more crew than the boat? I'm going to sit with that for like a while. <laughs> no, I'm, I have to agree, but I will tell you, not like a standard societal structure. <sighs> not like ex not like an existing thing that's out there. That's really just an us thing. Really? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Okay, are that's we system. sure that if we don't find the ghost, she will stop our ship or will she find us? I think she's got to be aware the boat's here. Yeah. So if we go back to the boat. And she makes a problem of it. No, I want to go find her now. And with the horn when we pulled up and oh, we okay. gave it away. Yeah. Ba, 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 ba. I just we get so excited that, yeah. when we get to a place. <laughs> All right. You feel those winds start to pick up just a little bit. Now. Okay. 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 <laughs> Picking up the wood that we gathered. Because we have to, to hold it? repair the ship. Sure. Okay. Which, okay. which way are you going? Are you going farther up the island or are you going back to the ship? From what I can tell from here, does the uh, overlook, I would be able to see our ship from it, right? You'd definitely be able to see it. It looks like it's a pretty, it's another hike, to, mm -hmm. essentially, to get all the way up mm -hmm. to the lookout point. You absolutely could do that. Um, uh, and you'd be able, to, you should be able to see the ship from there and, and keep watch on it. But then um, we're going to be leaving port in the height okay. of a storm. But what if we go to the lookout, get lost, and then we can't leave? I can't be the only one who thinks if we stay on land during oh. the storm that perhaps maybe the murder on the ship during the storm cannot occur. I, I just don't think that fate is that defined. I, I don't think that it's one specific way that it can happen. Super I, squishy. If, if people are coming to get the captain, I feel like sitting ducks here. Mm. That's fair. It feels very easy to board our ship when anchored, though I don't know if those things even have to. Would you prefer to prioritize wooing a ghost or saving the captain's life? Ooh, Which could result, question. actually, if we fail, in you wooing a ghost later. I, Marlo? I, oh. That's mean. <laughs> you're being mean. Oh, you're being mean. It's funny! Oh, <laughs> it's a very joke. joke! It's a joke. <laughs> yeah, no. No, Marlo's being nice. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> yes, I want to kiss a ghost. I no, I don't want you. it to be the captain. Thank you. Uh, we should go. We should absolutely yeah. go. Even if we don't leave yet, we should just be with the captain. Yeah, because right? yeah. the, the ghost boat. would find us, honestly, if she wants to keep us. It doesn't matter where we are in the island. We'll be trapped. Didn't she just cut off one of my fingers? She did. Something. Or did. something. I don't know how many ghosts are on this island. I just kind of know about one ghost. But that doesn't mean that there's not like eight ghosts. I don't okay. know. As we walk, if you draft me, like walk behind me, yeah. I'm doing the 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 weed just thing watch you, and you can walk just someone else to do the weed part. But yes, for sure. But if you walk behind someone, yeah. can you focus on the ghost bit? Sure. More? I sure can try. 
Can I do something? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. I'd like to hang to the back okay. as we're walking back towards the ship. Sure, mm-hmm. sure. And I would like to, like, uh, see if I can charm the island a little bit. <laughs> See if I can just like send a vibe. <laughs> uh, in yeah. theory, if she's messing with the sword and taking off hands, she's all around us. She's watching us. Yeah. Maybe I'm being watched at this exact moment. So if I am, are you gonna try to walk hotly? Yes. Yes. Walk hotly. Walk hotly. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just describe to me the way you are attempting to charm this island. You see uh, Piper's stance and walk take more of like a really confident, like full F boy status. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Shoulders kind of like lean back and her whole posture just kind of like slouches backwards. She's been very much in like go mode since we got here. Uh, It's a very defined shift. Uh, And she just kind of walks by and she just kind of like drags a hand along a branch uh, and looks in an area confidently of where I think she's looking at me from. Oh, so good. Uh, I would like to... I understand that eye contact is a powerful thing, and mine is very effective, and mm-hmm. I'd like to use it. Ooh. You'd like to use your eye contact. I would. What? Okay, roll it. Okay. So uh, to do so, I'm going to use a PowerPoint uh, to do an additional 3d6 to my charisma. (laughs) Um, It's weird that you're extra charismatic for some reason. I wonder if there's a a special thing you have. (laughs) Just so charming. Uh, So that's an 18, and my uh, charisma is a 92. I believe that would be considered an extreme success. Wow. Wow. Be considered extreme. Uh, excellent. I'm trying to charm the island enough that it's like, hey, baby, I'll come back and see you. Don't worry, I'll call. <laughs> <laughs> no notes. Perfect. Incredible. Roll a cult. Yes, this feels right. Uh, that is a 29, which is a success. Okay, great. You notice, as you're the, now on Ghost Watch, mm-hmm. suddenly Piper, assuming, like, assuming the position, like you just, you understand that you understand yeah. what's happening mm-hmm. here. And then you watch her suddenly laser beam focus. And as you look, how did she know she was there? Piper's eyes, which are already like a very pale blue gray, uh, like catch the sun very specifically. And it's like, it almost looks like an illusion as if they were glowing, but like the sun's probably just hitting them. And there is that moment of a shock, almost a shock and surprise that you feel and you share Uh with um, a figure. Again, you can't really make out the details of it. I can make out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then Piper. you <laughs> fuck <with> Piper. <laughs> and then suddenly you just feel um, that presence kind of like shudder and disappear as you feel just almost just like the ghostly touch. It's it could be the wind. It could be. Um, as a lock of your hair is tucked behind your ear and mm-hmm. it just lingers along your jaw before um, rustling like the rest of the greenery. All right, let's get out of here. Huh? That was impressive. Thank you. (laughs) I'm hauling all the wood and chopping the stuff in the front, so I missed a very good moment. (laughs) But I do not like land, so I'm just like chipper, like, hey, we're being efficient to the boat. Let's be back on me. I like (laughs) it here. (laughs) No problem. Uh, You uh, are able to uh, clear a little bit clearer of a path as you know, on the way in Marlo was struggling a little mm-hmm. uh, but you're, it made it a little a bit little. she made it easier to you know get through mm-hmm. um, but there is some extra work you did have to do just a little, yeah, just yeah, a little. Yeah. Uh, and as you clear your way through uh, return back to the beach something is a little different no and that's when this 
you feel that overwhelming, all-consuming panic. <gasps> You're gone. <gasps> it's gone. Oh, no. I'm not going to do it because we're mic'd. But this just begins to scream. What, what, what's, what's going what, on? What's happening? What's happening? Can we see that the boat isn't there? You see that the boat isn't there. Uh, the rest of you scanning the beach uh, see just footprints and signs of activity and a uh, beat up green glass bottle with um, a bit of parchment sticking out of it just stuck into the sand as thunder again begins to rumble around you. No, just what happened? Where are you? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I can I try to sense? You can. Cool. I'm going to go to the parchment and grab the bottle in the meantime. What did you, what am I rolling? <laughs> <laughs> What's the stat? What's your sense of self? Uh, ship? Roll for self. <laughs> roll for ship. Do you uh, have sense? Uh, there is a sense skill. There's an insight skill. Insight perception. Oh, there's track. I'm gonna. Say you something navigate, else. don't you? <laughs> yeah. You navigate. I do have you? navigate. I'm gonna consider. I'm gonna consider this a navigate. Okay. Cool. cool. Forty-two hundred fifty. Uh, you catch a flash, and it feels different and wrong, and there's just. Grace's face, smiling at you. Sorry, love, it's for your own good. It'll be fine. And then you feel your connection start to waver <gasps> again as you are shifted back into um, the beach and the uh, physical embodiment with the rest of your crew. The people Don't must have come to the shore. They have to have taken her. Can she I took, read the note? She, you absolutely can. She took the ship. What? Does Who the, took the ship? The captain took the, cap the ship. Captain Grace took the Oh, ship? that bitch. No. No, that doesn't no, make she sense. Wouldn't, she wouldn't leave us. She said it was for our own good. What? What does the note say? Uh, you open it, and in the captain's bold handwriting, it says something very similar to what she said to Dis. Is, I'm sorry. If this is as bad as it sounds, I'm not letting it take you with me. This is for your own good. I'll come back when the storm is over. Oh. Uh, she probably wrote it under duress or something. They probably made her write that. Mm. She dotted the eyes with hearts, Piper. Oh yeah, that's who right. does that <laughs> under duress. It seems like she had time. I don't understand. Thunder begins to roll again. I don't. I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I um. Uh, oh. the, the problem is that no one was there to protect her. Why would she go by herself? We have additional crew who also presumably care about her or whom she cares about more. Oh. I'm the first mate. That means favorite. It really does. It means favorite. It means favorite. Is there a lifeboat or a jolly boat's gone? Okay. Um... Jolly boat's gone. Uh, and you also know that you are sailing with a skeleton crew. Jolly That's not Jolly funny. <laughs> but it is accurate. Uh, if she uh, did leave, she was sailing that whole ship by herself. Oh my gosh. I shouldn't have told her. I shouldn't have told her anything. This is, this is an overreaction, an overcorrection. Um, uh, Can you get a heading of where the rest of you is? No. This what happens to you when you are separated from the rest of yourself for too long. Do you know? Oh, oh, I've never let it get very bad. Uh, the worst that's ever happened uh, is I have to pick one of the places to be. Um, oh. And the other kind of slips away. So I'm gonna let her have the ship and I'll stay here. And thunder rumbles again. It's starting to get a little bit dark. You are marooned on an island. No ship, no captain. The summit. Isn't there a house? Isn't there is a lookout. You, from here, you might even be able to see it like, poking through the, the trees. 
At the very least, we now need shelter. If the stories are true that the ghost here keeps people, there must be ship here, right? Probably wrecked. I mean... We do happen to have a sentient ship. I just, I just don't want this away from the ship for too long. I, I've never seen it for so long, and, and I, I don't want to lose you. Can you connect to a different ship? Temporarily. I'm sorry. Uh, Can you connect to a different skeleton? No. You're being very insensitive in a I'm, moment of crisis. It, the idea would be to get you back to yourself. And also, yes, people kind of can do that. The skeleton thing. I'm s genuinely, I am asking to see if we could get you back to yourself, not because I think that you should be a different ship. We can try. It's, it's okay, Dis. Um, you. I, I wanna, I wanna go to the the lookout. Um, I wanna get bearings because if. Um, where how the wind is blowing um, that might indicate which direction the captain sailed off to, and we might know they're, where they're going. Okay? She okay. is careless. Even if she doesn't care if she dies, if she goes out into the ocean and she dies on our ship, the rest of Dis is gone. We can't get to it. It's, it's, not gonna, it's not gonna stay up on its own, especially not in conditions like this. I, it doesn't make any sense why she would do this. It's a joke. We were doing joking earlier. No. She's doing a joke. No. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Sometimes you do the wrong thing, but it's funny. So this will be funny when she's back and it's fine. I'm going to the summit. I'll follow. I will follow you. And I'm gonna grab your hand. That's okay. Thank you. Yeah. It's, it's you and me. We're partners, okay? Okay, okay. You got this. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna put the wood down. I yeah, don't we don't need, we need it, right, it now. right now. We just keep it there. Yeah. <laughs> I'll uh Take some sand over it. <laughs> <laughs> We're burying it. Yeah. <laughs> we can find it later. <laughs> I'll hang back with Marlo a little bit. I don't know who I wanna kill. Oh, if we find her again, we're absolutely killing her. We've been so loyal. We've been, we've been, we've done it, all of it. We did everything. It doesn't make any sense. We won every game. What do you know that I don't know? Why would she do this? It doesn't make any sense. Can we roll to know more of why she might choose to do this? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you can literally just roll to know, um, okay. or you can uh, choose a relevant skill that would think nothing. back on your like, uh, insight yes. of her, your history. 62 under 85. Okay. So 62 under 85. So that, you think back to the events that have been at the forefront of your mind since uh, Lyra mentioned her dream to the events leading up to your mutiny. That first time where you all came together as a crew forged in that loyalty forged in blood and sacrifice. And you remember how Grace felt and what she said about the things that your former captain had done. The lives that she was willing to sacrifice for her own gain. And Grace Beckett would never allow anyone that she loved, that she was responsible for, to make that sacrifice for her. Except for Dis. Except for Dis. Who didn't get to make the decision at all. And I will continue forward. Um, I am 
I know that this is very um, scared. And so in an effort to kind of distract you, uh, as we're walking towards the summit, I'm telling you um, like a, um, a fable that I remember as like a kid about um, a, a young um, girl who became a mermaid. And it's, uh, yeah, and it's, it's pretty cool. There's lots of magic. Um, and yeah, I'm just trying to distract you. I think for the first two minutes, <laughs> this is just listening. Yeah. And then like the curiosity catches. Uh -huh. And I don't think you make it more than like 12 seconds without yeah, yeah, a question. Yeah. What's up? It's like, okay. Uh, yeah. Where's the little girl from? Oh yeah, um, this it's a fable, so like it's supposed to be like it could be from any town. Um, What's but, this one like? Uh, if I were to guess, mm. it, it's an old town, probably. Like uh, I don't know. Do you remember when we went to um, what was it? The um, the Ivory Islands. Do you remember those? They had a little tiny town. It was like a, it had like basically it was like a um, little uh, what is it? Little little city. Little, yeah. Little, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like that? It's like that. She's I, from there. I, okay. That's, that's what my imagination is telling right. me. Yeah. Sweet. What color is your tail? Uh, turquoise. That was the, like blue kind of turquoise or a green kind of turquoise? It was like a green kind. Like yeah. your hair? Yeah. Are well, you the mermaid? Does she look like you? <gasps> no, 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 no. I'm not the mermaid. I wish I was the mermaid. You could be the mermaid. I could be I'm the imagining mermaid. it. Aww. I'm going to imagine it as you, so that's okay. I like that. Thanks. Okay. I'll just let you tell me the story. Yeah. <laughs> no, like, uh -huh. This is what you're doing. Yeah. Like, I'm just you carrying back so part of the story. Describe. <laughs> but I love it. I'm just, just like, yes, let <laughs> me. And that rain starts to start spit down uh -huh. a little bit. Um, and that, and the thunder gets a little bit louder. Mm -hmm. like, this isn't this like squall that you were in the middle of the sea. Uh, mm -hmm. It doesn't feel quite dangerous yet. You just hear it coming. Manageable. Um, You've been in wars. Mm -hmm. Just because, just so I understand visually, mm -hmm. um, when you say a lookout, is that like a structure that has a roof? You think? Or is that? From what you saw, it definitely looked uh, like that there was masonry at some point, some okay. kind of structure, uh, something that would be akin to uh, what you would know as a widow's walk. Uh, so it would be a like, small structure with an open balcony. Mm -hmm. There is some shelter, but the, the whole point of it is to stand and look at the ocean. But it, it's a good place to so shield ourselves, at least from the storm. You think you, yeah, you think it, it, it could absolutely give you shelter from the elements. But cool. here's the thing, Piper. Now you're going to get to kiss a ghost. I better. <laughs> <laughs> It'll all be worth it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you cleared the way most of, most of the way already. Uh -huh. uh, so it takes you some time as the rain begins to come down a little bit harder to make that hike all the way up there. Uh, but you do begin to see this overgrown, uh, stony, not quite a tower, not quite a house. Uh, it looks simple and it looks ancient. Uh, the elements have worn it, uh, worn the stones down incredibly smooth. Uh, it's overgrown with um, like moss and lichen, uh, weeds. Uh, some of them are even flowering and they're starting to, in as it starts to, like the light starts to dim, you start to see blossoms begin to open in the rain. There is a slightly rotting wooden door uh, at the base of the structure. You hate to see it. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like to do? Kick down the door. Huh. Hand Rude. up to knock. <laughs> I'm yeah. angry. <laughs> I'm angry. At the Roll. door? Do it. Roll the kick door. Roll the kick door. It just I hope you crumbles. It's just trying really hard to be to sexy work. enough to not upset the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Your energy's trying really hard right now to compensate. <laughs> I roll a twenty rest. under twenty-five for brawl. I brawl with the door. Sure, find I, the door. I have no right to be able to do that. <laughs> <laughs> My rage is what's propelling me. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Sure, it was rotting. So, no, I'm strong. 
And yes. you're strong. So strong. Uh, Both are true. You're a terror to dead plants. <laughs> <laughs> and sort of new to the I had to make up for my clumsiness. Okay. <laughs> and it, that absolutely happens at the same time of the, <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> what Just are you pose. doing? I'm trying to seduce the ghost so it doesn't come down and kill us. Well, you did fell the door with your wooing. I, I'm just storming it. And uh, it's clear that it happens. <laughs> <laughs> the ghost was in the air. Perfect. I'm sorry about your house. That was impolite. <laughs> 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 you storm in. It's yeah. clearly uh, been many, many years since this has been inhabited, at least by any living creature, um, or at least living human. Um, there might be some scuttles of small animals uh, or something. Mm -hmm. I feel like this whole game is just going to be being sexy under duress. <laughs> yeah, we're stressed. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. Okay. You could do with a little more sexy and a little less duress. Duress. Though. So much duress. I guess I'll take a look around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's um, uh, an open uh, kind of a room with a spiral staircase. Not as narrow as a lighthouse would be, um, but it's very simple. Any furnishings really have kind of moldered away to dust at this oh, point. No. Um, it's not raining quite yet though, right? There's a little bit of rain, uh, but it's not storming yet. My favorite part about this is the ship, the rest of our lovely ship has our and light lanterns and our, our food and our bedding. I've got everything. I just start listing off everything we have. <laughs> the whole inventory. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Sorry, I'm the boss in uh -huh. everyone. I know what well, everything is on me. Thank you. I, with, with, with that, I want to climb to the top of the lookout, but I think you had a thing? Oh, um, no, I definitely am just trying to check for leaks. I just want to see, like, how likely is this storm going to take out this structure? Is water coming in from anywhere? Mm. Sure, uh, roll spot, or I'll also allow you to consider this a repair if you want. Yeah, I would like to do structural. Uh, that's a 15. Uh, my structural is 47, so Ooh. let's go. Mm. So I'll, I'll even say this. There is no reason for this thing to have held up as long as it has. I hate that. It is held up beyond logic and reason. Yeah. Would you say it's mortared together with like ghost kisses? <laughs> <laughs> it might be ghost kisses. <laughs> um, <laughs> Hold on, I could be put together with ghost kisses. We are changing. No more bitch. <laughs> you don't know. Are you still on ghost watch? Uh, yes, I'm actually, um, I would love to climb to the top of the lookout and look to the ocean. Okay. Uh, what are you looking for? So, um, mechanically, I want to roll navigation, um, mm. but I want to gauge where um, where the ship would go because we don't have motors so ships are you know we're going towards the wind and if we're going quickly I want to just kind of gauge where that is and figure out a direction and from that direction kind of surmise where the captain might be heading okay roll yeah. navigation here we go oh. in the meantime I'll just let everyone know that like we're safe from the storm and nothing else <laughs> oh okay <gasps> Can uh, I? Oh, go ahead. I got um, a hard success. Ooh. Nice. Okay. Um, so in order to kind of catch the wind, um, I take out one of my, my bottles mm -hmm. um, and, and it is sand. I uncork it and I drop this like white sand and um, to kind of gauge where like the wind is blowing and kind of like position myself there. Okay, absolutely. So as you uh, dangle or like just allow the sand to drop from your hand, mm -hmm. um, it pours out in a pretty steady um, uh, stream to guide you towards the southwest mm -hmm. as it kind of just rides that draft. And you look and you follow it. Mm -hmm. And as the mists of the storm, which closer to the horizon does look as though it is getting a little bit more intense, mm -hmm. And you see that flashes of heat lightning, just the kind that's just staying up in the clouds for now, um, illuminate against that horizon. You think you see a little smudge of a ship. Mm. 
It might not be yours. It probably it prob could be. Um, it's headed towards a southwestern direction, which there are a lot of things in that direction. Mm -hmm. The thing that you know for sure is there, all of you know, to the southwest. Uh, it was meant to be your next destination uh, to crew back up. Uh, idle tides. The infamous idle tides, ruled by Captain Belladonna Kane. Oh. Hmm. Do we have to call her Your Majesty? No. No. I call her jerk face. Okay. I call her a lot of things, and none of them are Your Majesty. Okay. It would be out of character for Grace to go meet with Belladonna. Mm -hmm. But she's done a lot of things out of character lately. But to the southwest, there's really only one place to land a ship, and that would be Idle Tides. So when I climb down, I am just pissed because... Uh, Everyone's so mad. Every, yeah, I, every, you're just picking up vibes, and everyone is so angry. The vibes you. are rancid in this, in this <laughs> women's walk. Okay. Uh, she went to go see Belladonna without us, so that's that. That's great. She is going to either die via spectral figure or by Belladonna's hand, because that's they don't like each other. Why would you do that? We can't get, keep getting betrayed by captains. I feel like this is like personal. Like, is it us? Is that a little personal? Yeah. I'm good. We're the problem, or? I'm not very concerned if she dies. I am very concerned if we lose the rest of our lovely ship. Thank you. Well, if she's, I think I saw her on the coast. I'm mean, not the coast, the far, far. Um, she's heading there. So we need to find a way off this island and to that place, the uh, idle tides. Mm -hmm. um, Out on the lookout, there were no other boats on the island. One second. Um, I Thank got you. distracted, um, and I go back <laughs> up. <laughs> and I go look for boats. <laughs> While she's climbing the stairs, can I cast Moonrise in the bottom of our little tower so we have some light to see by? Huh? Y yeah. <laughs> what does it look like when you cast magic? And does everyone else know that you cast magic? <gasps> oh, I'm missing it. I'm right next to you. <laughs> Is that something just that you're aware yeah. <laughs> that you that you have you still have access to the powers that you were given? I mean, we know that you're. See, here's the thing. You definitely know I can cast magic. Yeah, for sure. Um, There's no secrets. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah, just knows all of our dirt. I know a lot about a lot of things. <laughs> yeah. Um, well. Piper, I guess, is inspecting things. I'm gonna try to be subtle so it doesn't seem like I'm just being braggadocious. Mm -hmm. You wanna brag about it. But at this point, <laughs> it's like, you know, this is gonna be necessary. And I think that when I cast magic, I like use my hands and the bones together sound like dice. Ooh. Um, and it's like forming uh, the moon in my hands and then just letting it up. Um, and for a second, there's no light. Like all of the light in the space is sucked in and then comes back out. Just a little floating guy in the space. I think that's the ghost. <sighs> I... Yeah. No. No. I'm gonna try to kiss the light. <laughs> kiss that ghost. Kiss that ghost. <laughs> what happens when you try and kiss the light that it, you cast? Yeah, I think it, it... I would like to make it clear that I approach uh, cautiously and openly to make sure that I am receiving a reciprocal vibe from the light. <laughs> if I don't, there's no kisses. Sure. Here's the thing. Sure. The light yes. rolls not a spot sentient. twinkle? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not sentient. Um, when you go to kiss it. I'm just there putting up the option if it doesn't respond. I'm gonna step back and go, see, not the ghost. Okay, okay great. <laughs> great, cool. <laughs> Proof that it's not Proof. the ghost. Yeah. Cause it, cause it didn't want to kiss you? No. Correct. That makes perfect sense. Mm -hmm. Just just checking. Mm -hmm. 
Can I make an appraise roll? Uh, everything. So when you have few points of data,、mm -hmm. uh, everything is a thing.、Uh, mm -hmm. So every place is a ship, and、sure. all people are pirates. Yeah, and that、mm -hmm. means this is the ghost ship.、Mm -hmm. So it should be organized the way pirates organize、uh, the things that they hoard and store. So I want to appraise this area for where would the ghosts put the thing they value. Huh. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. So glad we have the best sentient ship ever. Yeah. You're so smart. Do an appraise roll,、uh, yeah. and you can also. Did you roll a spot or? I did. I、um, I succeeded on us. I spot sixty rolled a forty one. Okay. So looking out over the kind of edge、mm -hmm. of this balcony, you you notice that there is a like another kind of hidden、hmm. cove that's a little bit more sheltered from the storm. Oh, okay.、Uh, the waters are still pretty、um, tumultuous. You can't like see like beyond the surface.、Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't. You don't see any ships. Moored in the cove,、mm -hmm. you do see a lot of flotsam and jetsam on the shore.、Um, mm -hmm. Just remnants of shipwrecks, you、mm -hmm. would imagine. It's not the first time you've seen something like that. Yeah,、uh, especially as like the water's getting tossed and more things are getting thrown、mm -hmm. um, to shore. But you don't see anything floating. Okay, but there are parts of ships. There are absolutely parts of ships. They're pretty like munched up, but、mm -hmm. they're there. And the cove munched. is like, munched up. Technical <laughs> term.、Um, but the cove is more sheltered than this would be. It's it's sheltered from、uh, like view the, the waves and from view. So it,、okay. it would be it would be a safe place to.、Uh, Put anchor down. Uh huh. Uh huh.、Uh, so it's sheltered for ships as opposed to sheltered for people. Got it. Great.、We're、pretty well sheltered right now. Yeah.、Um, before I head back down,、um, I say like a a quick like prayer to the ocean, and、um, hoping that、um, Captain Beckett finds the island. So, take a doubloon、um, and mark an allegiance point for Beckett. Oh, neat!、Mm. Fun. Would we hear you doing that?、Yeah. Um, it's very. It's under my breath. If you were, if you were paying attention, like going、mm -hmm. up. Okay.、Mm. No, we're all done here. No. <clears throat> cool. How would you? What emotion would you say you're imbuing this prayer with? Um, I. It's imbued with、um, a solemn, like when you have family. Like and that you care about them very deeply, and you want them to be okay, even though they've kind of fucked up a little bit.、Um, so it's not like I hope you're fine. It's just like, just be alive. Like just don't die. As you whisper out this prayer,、mm -hmm. you feel a presence that. Not quite tangible, but in you, but incredibly affecting. Just reach over and like clasp your shoulder.、Uh, you feel that side of you just chill to the bone.、Um, it's a gentle touch. But it's frightening. But I kind of like being scared. Yes.、Yeah. So <laughs> cool. That's fun. Ah,、uh, do I see anything? Just the feeling of it. You don't see anything. It's still there, though. I'm going to put my hand on its hand. Ah! <laughs> A moment. And you feel that like ice cold. And as you raise a hand to touch it, you start to see that same like long draping black sleeve. Um, the like opalescent, almost painted nails.、Uh, you can still see your shoulder and your、mm -hmm. sleep through that hand.、Um, mm -hmm. As a silhouette starts to come into view, it's, it's sort of. It's still,、mm -hmm. you know, you look and it's there. You look and it's not there.、Mm -hmm. 
uh, behind you in um, almost a half embrace now at this point? Um, understanding that it is the ghost, um, I say, we've been abandoned. Our captain has left us. Um, I don't know what we'll do or if we'll starve here, but I'm trying to hold it together. So, um, I understand how you must feel alone on this island. Roll persuade for me. <laughs> what is my persuade? Yes, the, yes, the, the ghost. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, fail. 67. Um, I was, it's my persuades 50. Mm. Mm -hmm. You feel that ice cold mm -hmm. grasp. Mm -hmm. Just cup your cheek very gently. And just again graze that jawline. As she steps back. And the rest of you in like the main room. I think did she catch you on the stairwell? Yeah, I was on the top. Um the stones of the structure start to glow an odd green like blue green. Uh, it's it's the mermaid same color. It's the same kind of uh, the green yeah, mermaid voice. color. Yeah. <laughs> It's the it's the it's the same color that you could almost see uh, during storms on like the tops of ships. Um, okay. Marlo, is that you? Great. And what was your appraisal? Uh, Forty-seven under sixty. And as does you are looking around for something very sp specific, uh, you notice as uh, the illumination that is starting to uh, pop up in places starts to coalesce uh, in the floor in one of the big flagstones around your feet. And uh, you can see, it reminds you of the, like, the trap doors and the hatches that you have yeah. uh, yourself. Oh, love a booby trap. Um, and Flip it starts harpoon. to- Start to fry. Yeah, <laughs> it starts to glow even Pardon? stronger. Yeah. <laughs> As uh, you lift it and you see that there is a, um, a it's almost a storeroom below. As you see the crates and um, like casks and sacks of ships gone by, but it does appear to have water. Oh. Uh, smaller casks that look to be some kind of rum or liquor uh, there appears to be grain of some kind um hard tack something like something that would keep uh, there are also remnants of things that look like they have long rotted but there there do appear to be like dry goods and rations uh, i yell dry goods and then i raise my hand and wait for the ghost to call on me <laughs> <laughs> i don't think that's gonna work sweetheart um, um go, <laughs> ghost, thank you very much. What do you need? Your ship is a little bad in places. And I look over at the door. And at Marlo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> you, kicked the, you kicked the ship door of her ship. And that is a little mean. And I'm not making a joke. Cool. It's okay, I'll fix it. But there's also, there's food. You need that. And water. Get that. And then I go over and I'm gonna start <laughs> scraping. Like I'll take out a knife and kind of spend the rest <laughs> of this time like scraping rot, like big chunks of rot off the wood just Damn to get it. to the good wood and try to do a little bit of I repair. I can fix the door. I don't know why you're yelling at me. Uh, because you're right and I don't like it. I'm sorry. It's okay. 
Uh, let the record show, Marlo does not apologize to anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, it's literally like washes over Diz, like, thank you so much for apologizing. It's, 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 it's a, perfectly okay. That's why Diz gets the apologies. <gasps> okay, um, I'm going to cast Make Whole. Pairs the broken item. I'm going to fix the door. Do you need to? You don't have to. Thank you. No, see, you're right. I'll hold it together for you. <laughs> Teamwork. We're doing it together. <laughs> most begrudging spell I've ever cast. <laughs> <laughs> you could just wait for a ghost to kiss it back together. I'm making a joke now. That's funny. And you <laughs> Thank feel, you. Um, that ice cold hand on your shoulder and a hesitation almost for permission before just like a very like ice cold feather <gasps> light. Just on, just on like a little cheekbone. Just ah! a little butterfly kiss. Oh, that's so nice. This is so nice. It's nice to be here. I got the ghost kiss. You I got, got the ghost it. kiss? And I'm coming back. And I clap and drop the door yeah. to break the spell. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm really happy for you. Thank you. I'm going to start sorting out the rations mm-hmm. from things that are uh, like rotted to things that uh, are feasible for us all to consume mm-hmm. uh, and bring them up to like the main seating area um, like a dinner. And as you bring up the usable items, you notice as you, you go down and you come back, mm-hmm. they start to become arranged. Um, oh. As though they are um, we like, using like, a sailcloth rolled out, <laughs> um, little like travel knives um, being laid out gently for you. She really said, take me to dinner first. Something. <laughs> <laughs> Stubs of like paraffin candles uh, being nice. put down so that there is a warmer light than this like green, eerie mm-hmm. glow that she has. You don't quite see her yet, but you are seeing the signs of her attempting to make this nice for you. Oh, do we know her name yeah. from the uh, uh, I legend? Don't... She's never named. She was only called the Widow. Oh, oh that place, sucks. I'll place down <laughs> out of my bag um, just like a quill and a piece of paper on the table. And I'll just say, I'd love to know your name. Happy to roll a persuade. Yeah. <laughs> roll a persuade. That is a 43 under 80. Oh, nice. 80. Damn, nice. Daddy Piper. Okay. <laughs> this is what we name. call in the business Piper Lay and Pipe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're laying Piper. <laughs> you named your character yeah. that. Piper, yeah. Piper, yeah. <laughs> 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 Hi, I'm having a normal reaction. Yeah. Normal, uh, everything's fine. Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a there's a hesitation um, as you watch the. Are you still holding the quill? Oh no, I've set it down. No, okay. she was just oh, sorry. Oh, oh, like, are, are, are we? Are we gonna read before yeah, the yeah, yeah. you set it down? <laughs> you feel that ice cold yes. grip over yours. Oh, as uh, she uses your strength essentially to write. Um, You see that just there is a long, a little bit shaky um, moment as she in fine script writes out Elizabeth and she puts a heart over the eye. Oh, it's best my handwriting's ever looked. She's a monster. Elizabeth. <laughs> her hand lingers a little bit longer than it needs to. I keep it there as long as hers stays. <sighs> I like that name. Mm-hmm. No one should know you as something associated with a man. I think that we should work out like a communication method. You okay. know what I mean? Like a yes or no system. Um, can you pick anything up? You didn't work out the yes or no system yet? Yeah. I... Like, if you pick something up, that's a yes to you can pick things up, though. Okay, fair, fair, fair. Uh, I'm trying to figure out, like, hmm, how do I answer yeah, this question? You have to give system. a parameter and just be like, one is yes, two is no? Mm-hmm. Like a wrapping but, system? Yeah, but my question is, can you pick something up, right? Very clear answer. Fair. If something gets picked up, yes. And then in that case, we can do something where it's like, oh, you know, bop, bop. 
Set it down twice. Mm -hmm. That's yes. Right, or tell one them knock. Too. So what? Yeah. What she'll do? Uh huh. Is she will then you'll feel that cold presence again over your yeah. hand mm -hmm. um, as she takes up. it with the um, uh, as you've got that quill again mm -hmm. yeah. in your hand and she. Um, well, again, it's a little bit slow going. It's a little bit shaky, um, and you are having to physically hold it and help. Mm -hmm. um, but it eventually, in that beautiful script, not anything, not mm. everything. Mm. Mm. Handwriting is beautiful, Elizabeth. Yeah, right. Wow. Um. Well, Elizabeth, dinner. Oh my God. So nice. So kind of you. Mm -hmm. So cool of you. We love this. And we uh, are very grateful to share a meal with you. Yeah. Um, do you happen to know if there are any boats on this island that haven't been completely decimated by you or anyone else? I'm not going to say you did it. Um, and I say that with the preface of you could come with us. <gasps> Yeah, come with us. We don't want to be another group of people to leave you here. Persuade Ooh. roll, please. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so about that. Oh no! Mm. Oh no! Oh, no! no! <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh! Wow, you really came in Wowie. hot. I know. <laughs> it's so hard to get over my persuasion number, and yet I did. I rolled ninety-three. Oh, oh the which because I have such a high number. I was say, how high is your persuade failure. again? My persuade is eighty. Uh, it is okay. You Eighty-four. Got, you got a couple couple points to throw at that. Oh, oh. Uh, I guess I could throw down ten <laughs> luck, but I don't. I think I'm gonna need that. I think I'm gonna. Um, it I'm depends. Gonna, Do you want to kiss a ghost or not? I, mean, I don't think this is for kissing. Uh, I use it for kissing. Here's, here's what I'll, <laughs> here's what I'll tell you. Um, She's playing hard to get. <laughs> the chill around your hand recedes, um, and as that energy kind of pulls away from attempting to interact physically with the environment, you start to see that silhouette kind of. Uh, appear again. It's still like like foggy and a little bit strange. Um is she cute? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, how cute's the silhouette? It's a cute silhouette. Yeah, roll for cute. You're rolling for cute? I'm rolling for cute. <laughs> uh it's hard to tell. Uh, <laughs> because you like there aren't facial features, but there is absolutely uh, a distinct hourglass figure. Let's go girl. Cute. Cute. Yeah. Cute, cute. She's yeah. like a little fit. Yeah. Um, Yar. And you see, <laughs> you see that silhouette uh, start to ascend that stairwell again, back up to the widow's walk. I think she's got to think about it. Yeah. And what I've read about spectral apparitions, and I don't know if it's true, but there could be something that is anchoring you to this place and if maybe if we found it maybe we could bring it with us and so that you can come with us and have you live or unlive the rest of your life surrounded by friends and people rather than um in solitude see and you were telling me that not everything is a ship but then they said that there's an anchor here <laughs> you've got me there <laughs> <laughs> hey, real quick, Lyra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From the legend, I'm trying to whisper. Um, from the legend, how how long ago did this happen? Um, it's one of those legends where it's like an ambiguous amount of time, like like hundreds of years. Okay, I was trying to figure out if her husband's dead, because if not, we could offer to go find him. Oh, well, he's probably so dead. <sighs> yeah, but he could be a ghost. Could we, we could offer to bring ghost? him back and kill him again. Also. I mean, cool. Because he's kind of trash, right? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely trash. She deserves better. Right? Okay, above board, could we bring him back and kill him again? <laughs> if we found 
him? You could try. If we've got a little extra time, I mean, I'm willing to try. Do you want me to add to the list? Yeah. I can't wait I to just, see what this list is going to be. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, do we think that this would be appealing to the ghost? How necessary is having a friend that's a ghost? Uh, well, I was told to kind of a safe passage off the island, and also, you know, it's not we got stranded here, mm. she got stranded here. Mm. And also, like, this is, like, on my top five lists of things that I've hoped to happen to me. Oh, really? Ghosts. <laughs> yeah, wow. Yeah. Ghosts in general or, like, this kind of more specific scenario? Um, this is all, like, icing on the cake. It was meet a ghost, uh, and here we are. Okay. So... Meet a ghost is on your top five list of things that you want to do. Yeah, meet a ghost, uh, see snow. Um, what else? Uh, we, we can talk about it later. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 The uh, silhouetted <laughs> figure drifts back down the stairwell, and now you see that it is gesturing with an open hand as though to um, encourage you to join her as she like then turns to go back up to the Widow's Walk. I will. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Does anyone follow as well? Are you all going together or are you waiting? I'll uh, go. I'm looking for a signal from Piper, like, is this a group project or like, oh, no. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Everybody, come on. Okay. 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 <laughs> That's good. <laughs> it started to rain pretty heavily at this mm -hmm. point, and you still do uh, hear <laughs> that thunder rumbling, and you see lightning over the ocean in the distance, mm -hmm. but uh, it's not quite as severe uh, inland. Um, there is no longer any sign of a ship on the water. Uh, but you follow this, this silhouetted figure to the edge of the balcony and sh it turns towards you again with that just like featureless face and then turns back and just reaches out a hand over that sheltered cove and just passes it along. And as she does that, the surface, the tumultuous surface, uh, you know, ripped apart by wind and surf, goes glass still. Oh, that is quite cool. That's very cool. Ooh. And now that it is clear, and in these like, relatively tropical waters, that water is also crystal clear. And you can see all the way down to the ocean floor. Uh, it's relatively shallow um, here. And it is just a mass with shipwrecks. There's a graveyard here of the crews that never made it off the island. That's a lot of bones. That's, like that. yeah. Follow up question. If you went on a sunken ship, could you unsink the ship? So wild. Follow up, follow up question. Why did you let Captain Beckett leave? Oh. Thank you for not sinking me. All these people, all of these ships. It doesn't mean we know ships. Is that why? <laughs> oh. Oh. But she turns to all of you. And you see something just like effort. the silhouette almost vibrating as a, a brighter greenish glow begins to emanate from that silhouette as, it, as that fogginess starts to clear and clarify just a little. And you begin to see um, very like fine, frail features, pointed nose, long eyelashes. I was distracted. 
Wow. I was. You. <laughs> <laughs> and now that she's illuminated, you can see that there is a like darker green light as she starts to blush. You were blushing. Look, we didn't want her to sink this. No. Okay. If I hadn't. No. If I hadn't. No. If I hadn't. I'm not saying you shouldn't have. I'm just saying. Good job. It was you. Thank you. Would you like to continue this negotiation alone? Elizabeth. Uh, negotiation. No, no. Don't you want to come with us? That is a question. Not a demand. Yes, it's a question. You, it's entirely your choice, but you are invited if you'd like to come. She appears overcome by that. I don't know if I can. It's your anchor, right? Is that right? Is that a thing? Is it your body? Because, well, I'll dig up a body. I don't know. No. We've traveled with corpses. Yeah. <laughs> I had so many corpses on my boat. Girl. You guys make new ones all the time. They've never killed anyone. Thank you. Uh, we're actually just referring to Marlo. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Not about killing people, about being a corpse. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, because your hands. Yeah, yeah. And she will and your... reach out for a moment and s at those bones. And as her ghostly fingers brush yours, you feel the surge of kinship that is a little terrifying, and there's a bitterness to that, that I'm not even sure you were prepared for. Mm. You have been so good at avoiding brushes with death that now that you are inviting death back into your aura, the familiarity of it wrinkles. Oh. I'm sorry. Uh, just a chill. I, uh, am yes. out of practice. Would I have a way of sensing what her anger might be now that I've invited her in a little bit, or a way to try to figure out what would be holding her here so she, at least she has the option to leave if she wants to? Sense? Yeah, sense or an in, some kind of insight. Cool. Um, can I use insight? Yeah. My insight's high. Absolutely. Cool. Hmm. Nope, I was I was upset. Uh, <laughs> this is a 95. Oh. <laughs> Easy. We're struggling with the things we're good at. <laughs> yeah. I, Not all of us. She's very dead. <laughs> You're so overcome by the way that you relate to her situation, you're a little bit concerned you might be projecting onto the things that might be making her angry. Mm. Um, husband trouble isn't something that, it's something you try to avoid thinking about. Mm. Um, While we're still at the lookout and the ocean looks clear, um, I would like to see if I can see my octopus. Sure. Yeah, like, you can. It's it's he's crystal not a big clear. Guy. It's crystal clear. Um, and seen... he he's making sure that you can see him quite bright. Oh. Oh, here I'm good. Yeah. I feel like he would hang out like where the ship was, oh. and I haven't gotten a chance to go and explain that oh. we didn't leave without him. Oh. Oh. Uh, and I'm getting a little stressed about it. I he he's actually in that sheltered cove. Like he took shelter. Um. I'm just gonna turn to Elizabeth. Hey, um, would it be cool if I brought an octopus in here? What? Uh, what? Oh, what? Uh, the storm's really bad out there, and Peter's outside. 
Oh, he should Can be. Can we go to the safe. Yeah. He should be safe. He, the, the storm is, is not. How bad he was bathing out of one. He lives in the ocean. We can go see Peter. We'll right? go to him. Yeah. Okay. You, you well, should. I don't, I don't, we'll I don't know if an octopus place. should be indoors. Oh, no, he's housebroken. Very well trained. Yeah. 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 We'll get you to your octopus. I, I, I'm not going to ask any more questions, actually. Um, you, what did what did you need, dear? Oh, um, okay. I learned about ghosts on the way up here. Um, one, do you haunt things? Mm. Can you haunt a new thing? Mm. I've never tried. <gasps> Are you interested in trying? You don't have to say yes. <gasps> I haven't done anything new for quite some time. You can try it, and if you don't like it, you don't have to come all the way, but if we go get another boat, and then I'll be on the front of the boat, and then you can haunt the boat, mm -hmm. and there'll be ghost ship. Oh, my dream. My dream to have a ghost ship. <laughs> That's not an exaggeration. She's yeah. always like And her that. dreams, yeah, yeah. it's genuine. Oh, oh! Her dreams are oh. wild. Sorry, I, no, I'm projecting now. Yeah. We're very excited. I what think it's called, dream dream? like, are you trying to possess mm -hmm. or haunt? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, do you want to possess someone? Oh, dibs. Okay. Do you want to possess me? No, we're, uh, Elizabeth, that is not on the table. Oh. You don't get to speak for... I didn't want to be possessed, <laughs> but I think Lyra would like it. <laughs> we can look out for Lyra's best interest as a crew okay. and say that possession might be dangerous and could cause harm to Lyra. I care about you. I care about you too. Yeah, no. Okay. I but I will say I I have tried possession. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. How did that work? Did it feel like <laughs> odd? <laughs> it did not work out well for the host. <laughs> That's funny. Lyra. Well, no, I just I just need to know. I don't think they exploded. Ooh. I think it was more of an implosion. They expired. Okay. Oh, that's fun. Oh, We'd right. love for you not to implode. Same. Uh, We'll we'll re-examine this later. Maybe. No, we will not. I mean, just okay. Let's maybe let's go down to the cove, right? That's where the ships are. Does it look safe enough outside to get down to the cove? Outside, it's it should be real. It, it, you'll get you know a little bit rained on. Yeah. So unless you're not into it, you're with us now, and we're going to the cove. You can just hang out with us while we're on the island, at least while you think about it. We're pretty yes. fun. Yes. Cool. Okay. Yay. So we can't see. The cove is covering something. Like there is an area that is covered that we cannot see even from here, correct? With this lookout point? No, no, no. You, like you can, can see fully directly. See the yeah. yeah, yeah. So what are we going there for, other than Peter? Get a ship. A ship that's already sunk. We can get it back. You're awesome. Thanks. Um, we'll we'll have a conversation because there's going to be uh, corpses on the ship. I know. And you know I'm going to look at you and say, "Oh, look, a corpse." Now, if I take off your skeletal hand and put it on that skeleton, Ooh. is that you now? See, here's the thing. I am interested in finding that out. Then we're going to find out so many things together. Elizabeth, come on. <laughs> oh, oh, we could put her in a skeleton. <gasps> you could possess one of the corpses that's on one of those boats. Only if you want yes, to. Yes, if you want to be you bones. That's, that's great. Anyways, there's we'll a little bit bones. There. Come on. Yeah. And there's that moment of hesitation, and you're just broad, open face. <laughs> and she takes your hand. <laughs> Woo! Uh, it's like licking your battery, and I don't know what that means. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> yeah, you don't, don't feel have cold. A tongue. Don't know what a battery is. <laughs> Doesn't really care about cold. You don't? Hmm? Hmm. <laughs> I was wondering if that was just gonna get to get passed by. It wasn't. Never. Good job, Piper. <laughs> Uh, so you make your way down uh, to the cove. Uh, oh. The surface of it is still glass still compared to the rest of the seas outside. Um, this whole island clearly has some kind of, it's not quite an enchantment, it's a little bit darker than that, uh, but Elizabeth has had her influence over this area for quite some time. Uh, you are honestly getting a lot of the same feelings. You are now starting to feel a kinship with Ooh. Elizabeth the way that she is able to manipulate the space around her oh. and the way that you can manipulate. The cove is your ship. I get it. Like, this starts to make a lot of sense. Am I a ghost? No. no. Mm, 
Right. Well, okay, here's Don't. where we get into the debate about souls, right? And who's really interested in unpacking that? I am. Um, oh, sure. Um, yeah, I was going to be this. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think I have one, but I think you are just one without the meat on it. So. You don't think you have one? I think you have one. Nah. Oh. Hmm. No, remember when our old crew, um, all the crew had all of their souls taken out. Yeah, and I was yeah. watching and someone was like, your soul. And I went, <laughs> I'm a boat. And then they kind of just moved on. So I think they were yeah. like, no one's home. Well, and we would be assuming that the only way to have a soul is the way humans have a soul. Right. right. Or maybe that, they should know how to take a soul from a boat. Right. Or, or maybe you're growing souls? one. Maybe you still need one. <sighs> and is there a difference between life force and soul? I'm sorry. Sorry. Um, <laughs> to the cove. There, there really hasn't been much intelligent conversation on this cove um, kind of ever. So this was quite enjoyable, <laughs> yeah, yeah. honestly, and incredibly unexpected. Too many men on the seas. Yes. Well, we can get rid of as many of them. Half of my list is kill a man, mm -hmm. like specific ones, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. slap a priest. So, yeah, that's. Mm -hmm. I've done that. It was satisfying. I'm going to cross it off. I like that. I'm going to cross it off. I feel like we've done it. <laughs> it's a group list. It's a group list. Yes. Hi. I'm happy to have contributed. Okay. Which one's your favorite one that you sunk? Hmm. Fast would be proud. That one looked quite fast. Let's go get it. Uh, and as she points uh, over to you, see something that looks more like a. It's 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 like almost a cross between a sloop and a skiff. So it's like very like flat bottomed, but um, so that it's it, it like skips over reefs, so it doesn't it doesn't like carve too deep mm. under the surface. Um, but it scoops up into something that looks incredibly like both hydro and aerodynamic. It, oh, it is wow. like really sleek. Um, but that's kind of all that's left of it is just that that hull. Uh, there's no more like sails or mastheads. There's no more rigging. Mm. It is really just like the shell of it, and it is so old. Yeah. Like, the name has worn off. Mm -hmm. uh, there, it looks like there was at some point a masthead there, but it's no longer there. Well, can we? There's parts <laughs> everywhere, and we were gonna repair our hull. Can't we yeah, add like, a sail? I can hull. fill an area with wind. There's not an area to be filled with wind because the mast is dead. But if we get that back, then you can fill it with all the it wind. It feels like it would take us a while to build a boat. Yeah, that's probably true. But you said you have a boat. Yeah, and we got deserted here, and our so-called captain left with it. Mm -hmm. But it's here. What? We, what? Yes. What do you? No, what it's do you, sailed wait, away. Do you sense it here? Do you feel our boat here? Or do you just feel her? Yes. Oh. Oh. The boat, it's, the, the rest of Dis is not here. Wait, yeah. that's, that's, you, the, the boat didn't sail away. What do you mean? Where, it, where is it then? It's right next to you. Right, okay, so if we attach the boat to a new boat, Wait, 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 wait. I, Should I, we just get on your back? No. no, that's not what we're doing. I think I'm following what you're yeah. saying. Dis, mm. weird request. Not weirder than attach yourself to an, like the dead remains of another boat and be a new boat. <laughs> Come on, it's a good suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> um, my suggestion is opposite suggestion. Okay. Uh, I want you to know that if I could pick up two more arms from like one of these corpses and just attach them to my body, I would do it. You can watch. Yeah, over. that seems true. It is, um, you can see the boat. You can feel the boat still? If you leave here? Yes. But as it got further away, you were losing connection with it, right? Yeah, but you know, you gotta, you know. You could try There's again also that it. understanding that like, if, if I sink, I probably die. So there's like a sort of tether. Could you sail if it back? If you go to sleep and we watch over you, could you sail back? Try. Are you sure? Well, the captain told me I was supposed to watch out for you, so that's I don't know true. if I that's should true. leave. That would be disobeying the captain. Except yeah. the best possible looking out for what? us would right? be. A, yeah, we need a boat. A boat. But what if you guys don't die if I leave? If I leave, then the captain's gonna be so mad and be like, I gave you one job. Hey. That's not how she says. A few things. One, she deserted us. 
No, she's doing a joke. Two, I'm gonna kill her when we see her. That's you say that about most people. <laughs> Three, <laughs> it's actually a rule. Um, it's pirate code. Mm. They're not allowed to kill me if we're holding hands. So if you close your eyes mm -hmm. and I stay here with you, okay, they can't kill me. No. It would be mean. Okay. So you go to sleep, I'll stay here, and we'll watch over you. We can all hold hands. Yeah, we'll okay. hold hands around you. And they can't kill us. All right, you said it's a rule. Mm -hmm. Sure, I wrote it down. You good? I'm not entirely sure I understand what's happening. I guess um, this is going to try and like warg back to its own body and see if the ship, the rest of the ship, could come back. I'm a ship, but I don't think I can grow a new ship. So I'm going to go try to get my old ship and bring it back here. Unless you're really saying that it's somewhere here and we don't see it. Because being vague about it, not super helpful right now. But you're doing a good job. I'm quite confused. Uh, there are things in this world that don't make a lot of sense. Um, Said to a ghost. So, yeah, there's this and then there's dat dat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I don't have good enough ships for you. No, no you're good. No, you're perfect. It, would, no. it would just take us a long time to repair these ships. Unless you we're have not one that, that can skilled. Float. Is there one that can float? We're great at maintaining a ship, but Can't building one. Float? Okay, I feel like we're thinking I'm a ship, so I'm going to prove a point really quick. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to just walk into the water <laughs> and then just lay out and try to float. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happens? Do you have swim? You grow you know into I a know. ship. <laughs> I, I, I can make an attempt. It's pretty easy. Yeah. Roll for float. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> 35 over 25. Let's go down to the bottom. Can I? I get you. I want to get you. <laughs> <laughs> Just down at the bottom, like, oh, oh. shipwreck. Of course, I would go where the boats go mm. when they. <laughs> so, yeah, there's that moment of like, <sighs> yeah. Uh, and you. Okay. crash through the deck of a shipwreck um, as your senses just kind of balloon out in front of you and much to your chagrin you feel your consciousness fill yes the ship. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm below the water you are <laughs> below the water because I cannot let Marla see this it is still currently clear, but uh, you did crash through a deck, so um, I'm gonna like you can be obfuscate, like you can be obscure. I crash through okay, the deck Molly. and I hit that like sand a little bit on the bottom, yeah. and I kick it up so the water's a little cloudy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's okay, Marlo can't swim. Marlo <laughs> <laughs> can swim. She just doesn't go she in just the ocean. Should it. Yeah. <laughs> it's not in the ocean. Ah, like, oh, damn. Okay, 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 okay. I don't wanna be. I don't wanna do that boat because I broke this one, and I like try to like unstick myself from this boat. <laughs> And uh, I guess I don't. We haven't really discussed sort of the like life conditions of an animated masthead. So until someone tells me I'm actively drowning, I'm gonna walk across the bottom and look for a more slightly more sound boat. Sure, rule spot check. Cool. I don't know why you'd need to breathe. Yeah. Ninety two. Oh, wait. Uh, I can help. Water. Breath of Life uh, provides can... breathable air underwater or elsewhere. If you let me know. What's going on down I'd there? rather drown. I don't, I don't <laughs> think that to, no, that to find the that boat. was to find a boat. I don't yeah. think it needs to breathe. Yeah, I would love to help with the finding of a boat because <laughs> when this me. sunk, I absolutely would die then. Yeah. That's what I'm so. looking for Peter. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Oh yeah, and yeah, Peter comes Peter like rolls through absolutely. Am I rolling yeah. my swim head or am I helping to spot? Uh Roll swim first, because we'll see if, if um, being distracted by swimming affects your spot. Uh, I have a success on swim. Great. So yeah, now yeah. you can just roll spot without any difficulty. Okay, yes. Because the, the waters are still incredibly clear. Mm -hmm. uh, Elizabeth is keeping them calm for you. I know I also failed the spot, but I know. <laughs> you do see the ship she pointed out. Okay. And Peter? Peter's still there. Peter, um, like, puts an arm around you. Yeah. Um, okay, great. Well, I will make sure that this is good. And then I see walking <laughs> upon a boat. And I'm just like, 
<laughs> I think there is some level of like deck sign language. Oh, absolutely. Especially because you're the one that like, I was animated because you talked to me. So I think there's just like some subtle like, whatever sign for, it works. <laughs> if I can have a sign back for we can't stay down here. <laughs> It's just a reminder of like, hello, I have to like, breathe. <laughs> we're fine. Can I point at Peter? Like, not. we're great. <laughs> Peter Take does a little backflip. Take your time, baby. Yeah. Swim back <laughs> up. Okay. Uh, then I'm gonna go back over to the original. Well, I was kind of just walking across the original boat, and I want to go to the masthead and uh, try to like warg into the ship a little more. Can I feel where the ship <laughs> is broken? <laughs> hold hold the water. 30 more seconds. Okay, I got this. I'm really good at this. <laughs> so uh are are you are you rising Piper to the surface first or are you seeing where the ship is broken first? Uh are you are you rising Piper on the ship? Can I raise this entire okay. ship out of the water? Like how how yes. do you how would you like to do that? If like if, how would you like to try to do that? What is the what are you trying to do? What is your goal and what tools do you have? Roll I, with hotness. Huh? Roll with hotness. Yeah, it, it would be so sexy hot. as hell. It's incredible. Yeah. Sexy. For sure. Uh, I think it is find the weak points. And if things are like blown open, find enough debris, like grab everything that is the ship patch it up and lift it and we'll get the water out. So I think it's just a Herculean effort of like, grab whatever's wrong with it, yoink it up, and then we can figure out how to repair ourselves with the understanding of what we are. So this is essentially a f just a force of will. Yeah. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> um, so let's... I'll burn a power point. Listen, let's it. spend some power for it then. <laughs> Sweet. Okay. Very wow. cool. Power. So good. Oh, so good. Yeah. And You're going to be so vindicated. <laughs> so you can roll. Can I roll ship? <laughs> roll for ship. Um, it could be a repair. A <laughs> it could be um, some kind of like a strength stat. Um, hmm. Can it just be an effort roll? Yeah. I think this is just a like. You're just going. I was gonna say if this is yeah. like, if it's just effort, then it might as well just be a full force of will. Cool. Yeah. Let's do that. Hit. I rolled bad. Oh no. Eighty four. Uh. Over what? Uh, if it's an effort roll over sixty. If it's ship, <laughs> it's over eighty. Uh -huh. Oh. Wait, if it's ship, ship, you can use luck to get that down to an yeah, eighty yeah. and meet it. Meet it. Do you want this bad boy? Can I make it happen, please? Take some of my okay, luck. Okay, thanks, right? I'm about to be so validated by this. Take my luck. <laughs> and I'm about to look very cool. Sweet. So, we, so we're rolling for ship. Yeah. So maybe instead of a force of will, it's something else. <gasps> what else is there? <laughs> what do you think a soul is, Dis? I think a soul is the thing that makes someone understand themselves as an individual. And I think that's why I've struggled with it. Because I know when I'm the ship and I know that we're both, so I don't, I haven't had a sense of, don't worry about having a soul because you know you are both things. And so maybe in this moment of being separated from what I thought I was, that I am this and I'm the point of continuity to whatever I interact with. And I think that's what all my friends are or how I understand them in the world. And if that's what a soul is, I'm doing a real good job of pretending I have one maybe. Oh. For a little bit to help my friends. And that understanding of where your power truly lies, you begin to feel every fiber of wood and rotting hemp and canvas and sand and stone as the shape of this ship. You feel it imprinted almost in your psyche as this thing is also a little bit of a part of you now and you know it 
intimately and you feel Piper standing lightly on the deck, holding her breath for a lot longer than she should be able to, quite honestly. Mm -hmm. uh, as you gather yourself and just lift. I'll do anything to look cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little easier than you think it should be. Uh, just a really good swimmer, weird. Um, and standing on the deck, roll Piper. Uh, a dodge or something so that you like keep your, if you want to keep your footing or uh, if you have a particular pose you want to be holding <laughs> when you rise from the surface. Yeah. Um, can I do a climb? And can I, if like there is like a mast, can I? <laughs> <laughs> yes, good. So like there pose? isn't a mast, however, because your uh, power was so compelling, I'm going to I'm gonna let a uh, a new mast essentially rise <gasps> from the ship <gasps> into Piper's hand as she makes a pose. Okay. As rising from that surface. I'm going to use it? some luck. I'm going to use some luck. I'm going to <laughs> spend some luck to make it happen because I had a 47 and my number's 40, I think. It's 42. So I'm going to spend five luck. Okay. I think it's like this is going to attach itself to and become the masthead again to do this and not worry about being like distinct That's and articulate nice. for the sort of Herculean mm -hmm. effort. And I think whatever the name was of the ship that's like been carved away, there was some sense of like the monstrousness of it mm -hmm. and the monstrousness of this effort. So Dis looks like a screaming fanged like oh. harpy on the front uh, and rises like with it. So you're on a scary boat. Whoa. And uh, the waters again are still clear. So you're able to kind of see <laughs> Something happening, although you did kick up some sand, so it's like Just a little, a little bit. Obscure <laughs> <laughs> <Just hear> it. <laughs> uh, and Marlo, you're starting to get some suspicions, uh, and you're like preparing for like a really, really good "I told you so" moment or something. You know, it'll be available to you should you need it. As <laughs> your friends come, just pouring like epically out of this cove. Ocean water streaming <laughs> off of them. Frozen rictus of angry siren. Uh, the like thunderheads are like like cracking behind them. You can see those flashes of lightning. It is an incredibly dramatic scene as the two of you on either side of a ghost I are just shrieking like I'm at a concert. I am <laughs> so excited. It's gonna be Beyonce in Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> And it's just, and the uh, ship kind of like settles and just floats. I want like a snap as uh, like the holes in it are like being forcibly like forced back to together by this. So it is. A so you're like ship. resetting broken yeah. bones. Like she's no longer moving. She is an inanimate like masthead oh. and is the ship right now, fixing itself and making it uh, oh. yar. You're so cool. Hey, we got a boat! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Did you see? Well, so loud. And I, 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 what do I? All right, let's get underway. Hey, uh, you coming with? Oh, come on. Nope, no pressure, but like, it'll be fun. How? Oh, oh. Walk on. Well, yeah, try walking on, um, and if not, we can find your bones or something else that is maybe your anchor, uh, and if it's an unfinished business thing, we travel a lot, so maybe there's a way we can find your unfinished business out there. If that's compelling, I don't know. I don't know what it is. We love to kill an ex you... I think he's dead. Yeah, that, we, yeah, we can do it again. Oh. Can I make a structure repair roll? Uh, to let down the ladder for people to come down, but I want to carve like into the wood of the like rungs 
Uh, just a pattern like the flower that was growing in the widow's walk. Oh. And she will, like, stepping lightly and a little bit uncertainly, start to, for the f first time, likely in centuries, step onto the ocean's surface of the cove and like step lightly mm -hmm. over it and you can see little glowing depressions of that greenish light just tss, 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 as those footsteps cover the surface of the cove and she lays a hand on that ladder and those little carvings start to also glow <gasps> with that mm -hmm. same colored light I don't know how long I can keep this up. You're doing great. If you ever want to leave, for whatever that means, it's just nice to have you while you're here. All right. You're doing great. Never been on an adventure before. You are worthy of an adventure. Where are you going? Mm. Oh, uh, uh, well, potentially idle tides, I guess uh, we've got to go speak to a captain and a pirate queen, which, I mean, it's a pretty big adventure. Oh, you're all pirates. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing. I'm a ship. You're a pirate now, too. Yeah. Here, steal your first thing. Oh, uh, uh, anything, anything on anything us. Anything on the just ship. To, yeah. I just, I, I, I knock one of the doors <laughs> off. <laughs> just let it fall down. Take it, take it. Uh, I put a hand on my gun of like, you can steal anything but that. <laughs> uh, she'll like, caught up in the, just the absolutely infectious energy. Uh, look around uh, at anything and she will see kind of encrusted onto uh the deck rail um some bauble that is so like green and oxidized <laughs> and overcome like barnacles and coral okay. and she'll just but it's like you just barely see it was shiny at some point yeah. and she'll reach to it mm. uh and as her hand just brushes over it you see her <gasps> and she gets pulled no. uh, as you see that f green light go like white hot and f just stream into this object <laughs> as uh that oxidization and like that like green coating and the coral and the barnacle start to crack away uh, uh to reveal a uh a small statuette uh, molded onto what looks like a bangle. Um, and it's just been like crusted onto this deck rail. It starts to shine clean in this mix of golds and like burnished beaten copper and silver. It's an odd mix of metals. Uh, and the figure uh, that was so, a little bit more of an anonymous uh, sculptor's imagination of what a like female silhouette might be there was like a little bit of like a siren's tail it shifts and the silhouette molds to a slightly different shape and it shines and you see as uh where there were like empty like sockets where jewels would be you see bright green deep green emeralds with a little bit of like an internal glow begin to set just like rise out of that bangle and it falls to the deck did i accidentally put her in the bracelet i th i th think that might have been a good thing. yeah i feel <laughs> like crawl off the master <laughs> how did she get plundered well, uh, <laughs> good, I, good first attempt. Can I touch the bracelet? Um, um, Elizabeth. Yes. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh! Great. A speaking um, mangle. Oh, nice. Um, so 
You, uh, was this you good? <laughs> I stole something. You did. You're a pirate. Or you got stolen. <laughs> it's kind of bull. Well, I'm we can definitely going. take you on an adventure like this. This yeah. is easier. Okay. Oh. Spectacular. Who wants to wear the bangle? Mm. Not it. Oh, I would love to wear it. Mm -hmm. yes. Please. Great. Nice. <laughs> Put it on. Boop. And uh, just inside your head a little bit, now that it's like properly touching your skin, um, you just hear Elizabeth's voice. If you want to experiment with the possession thing, I'm still open to that. Yeah! <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. I will start nice. putting things on the boat in the way that I know that dislikes them generally. Yeah. I will start reorganizing, sorting barrels, and uh, I'll probably run back up to make sure I get our rations. Yeah. Can we get onto the ship without stepping in the water? Uh, this is aware of your predilection yeah. for dryness. <laughs> Uh, so that might be a conversation that the two of you need to have. Do the you bring just shrugs? <laughs> Still a face. Look, you're you were right. I didn't say that. Yeah, we're thinking it. I'd love to just get on the boat. Okay, bargain. <laughs> if you don't say I told you so, I haven't. And don't continue in the future. I will not. I will figure out how to get you on here without About you this. getting wet. Okay, I heard that! <laughs> Come on, I will say I can't hear you. I will say it's a pirate's bargain. You're I'm funny. Very That's a pirate's bargain. You. Okay. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Um, yeah, I mean. Swing the ladder a little. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just like, like ladder you catch it like a helicopter out. ladder. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how it goes? No, uh, I think if I'm the boat, and I'm like, well, now I'm un unsinkable. You can call me the Titanic. I'm going to run aground. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I can back up. I think I have perfect control over You're the good. ship. You're good. You're okay. good. Beep, beep, I'm on the sand. <laughs> so when I get up onto the deck of a ship, you're yeah. still standing up there now? You're like a uh, uh, I popped off of the masthead to comment that Elizabeth was a bracelet. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> so I'm going to have to climb back on to, you know, back the car out of the spot. Yeah, you're going to have to steer now. As soon yeah. as I get up onto the deck, then Hi. I'm going to come over to you and just go, good girl. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting thing I'm learning about myself. <laughs> yeah, captain's gone and I don't ever learn how to steer this thing. So best of luck to you, dis. Boat has <laughs> Praise <go>. you. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do. Beep, beep. I'm the boat. <laughs> <laughs> and I would like to uh, regain my position on the masthead uh, and attempt to three-point uh, three <laughs> three turn our way out of the cove. I will performatively stand by the wheel. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I'm I, next in line. <laughs> I stand next to you as navigator. Just, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I don't know where I'm Very going. Official. I can just go. Oh, no. We're going, like. What yeah, I get out and I'm like, you get turn left to or right? Idle yeah. tides? Left or right? Left or right. Oh, left. <laughs> Sorry. Like, no, no, no. Uh, west. Port? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Port or west? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You get it. <laughs> I'm, while they're doing this, I'm definitely going to go down to the captain's quarters and see what's up. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Um, I will say that because this is a much, like, sh it's like a shallower, um, keeled boat there's less of a below decks as you are accustomed to um in dis um yeah. but <laughs> there appear to be like certain things just like squirreled away you also do see a skeleton there now you do it <laughs> you hear the ship around you go now you now you go <laughs> do you promise to good girl me when i'm done yes <laughs> what I'll, you gonna do i will well, listen, I'm not, <laughs> I'm a doctor, not a crew member. So I'm not going to be doing any manual labor. So I'm going to try to animate the skeleton. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> Don't laugh. I'm, so, I'm excited. This is, again, my dream. So please. You can watch if you want. This is also on the list. It's um, on the list. It is. At home. Uh, yes. What are you attempting to do? How are you attempting to do it? And why are you attempting to do it? I would love to have a. Well, one, 
if it retains consciousness, which I don't imagine it would. I'd love a chat. We're about to find out. But if it doesn't, I'd love manual labor. Um, if it's just bones that I can ask requests uh. of, I will ask it to do cool ship things. Um, if it's a human in there, then I will have a conversation. <laughs> Respectably toss it overboard. Uh, yeah, sounds good. Um, is this the kind of situation where I try to heal it? Is this the kind of situation where I'm trying to summon? It is beyond healing, I would I'm going to try to summon... I'm going to use summon demon? And and try to animate the skeleton? Interesting. This is a stretch. I, I want to see this play out. <laughs> yeah. I've got summon elemental? <laughs> I think <laughs> We don't know. Yeah. Uh, I try to yeah. like and shape. That's a stretch. I'm shaking the wheel just a little bit so you look like <laughs> driving in an improv class. So, oh, make hole. I'm going to try to repair a broken body. Let's go. We're not summoning a demon. Unless you want unless me to. <laughs> Above <laughs> board, unless you want me to. <laughs> I'm going to say that your knowledge of your own power, you know that should you summon a demon, you would just summon a demon. And okay. it would it inhabit the skeleton and you would have to deal with the fact that you summoned a demon. Right, back to make whole. Yeah, yeah. How's that spelled? <laughs> <laughs> the opposite it's of what you think. Hyper. <laughs> There's a little heart over there. <laughs> I know what you're asking. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> you also know that with a spell like uh, that, because it's really hard for me to say the name of that spell, uh, <laughs> it would Wonder. put the skeleton back together. Can I roll to no? Come on, I had to be married to Davy Jones for a really long time. I feel like this information I should have at my admittedly skeletal fingertips. It is it is, it is information, so you just, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just gonna animate it. What are you using to, like what pow, like, mm -hmm. like this is a, because this is not a spell you are casting, this is again, just like this, this is a force of will ah, that you okay. are creating. Like this is now has to be something that like, this is not something you should be able to do Convince me that you can. Cool. I'm gonna dig back into um, years of uh, trauma, uh, and it, it. I think it, to me it would feel, even though we're I'm standing on a boat that's in the water, like reaching down into the core of the earth, like all of my energy. And also, like, having to bypass an awareness that knows that I'm doing it. How hard do you try and bypass that awareness? N not hard enough not to get their attention, but um, I'm going there. Okay. I want a skeleton. <laughs> and, listen, okay. I have to prove <laughs> that I can. It's for spite. Uh, okay. It's uh, for spite. You would be. The yeah, you would be yeah. putting. To prove I the disc, you'd have to put your. Yeah, like take off yeah. your okay. hand, put the skeleton. Yeah. So you know you're not going to win this bet if you just no, no, make no, no, a. No, 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 but I at least need to show up, right? Like yeah. I want to help, and also I want to prove that I can. I haven't tried it yet. Okay. I, yeah. You're going above and beyond, and I love this for you. Thank you. I'm also. Trying to appeal to the girl who makes spooky shit. Don't fuck this up for me. Okay, I'm gonna work for it down. Okay, so I need two rolls from you. This would also be at least a third level amount of effort, so I'm gonna need at least three power points. Take them. Um, but this is more than that. Great. So uh, I need a roll uh, first to see. And this can be some kind of effort role uh, to see if you are capable of summoning this kind of power and controlling it. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we need either a, then we need a stealth roll to see if you can how how sneaky you get to be by using this power that really shouldn't be yours. So flat effort is the first one, unless you have an argument for a different thing. Oh, projection. I dumped a bunch of stats in that <laughs> specifically for this because projection was like this is how you spells. Can I use projection to animate the skeleton and then stealth to stealth? So then are you projecting your energy into it and leaving some behind? Mm -hmm. Okay, and so yeah, as long as you put those three power points in there, 
you can roll protection. Oh, yes. <laughs> I am a mere three points under what I needed to be for protection. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't fuck this up for me. I got one on stealth. That's so good. Uh -huh. Amazing. That's incredible. Uh -huh. The things we do for hot women. <laughs> <laughs> Describe this extreme epic success and also would you like a witness at this point? Will you come and watch? I feel like I need to go do something real quick. I'll be back. I feel like there's like a rumbling of magic downstairs. And I'm like, I'm steering. Could you get that? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes, I will. Run down. Thank you. Yeah. What does this look like that you are achieving exactly what you wanted and somehow have no consequences about it? Yeah. <laughs> Talk to me about it. I don't know him. We don't know him. I think that this is a costly effort because this is a power that I once had and willingly gave up to come back to humanity and the surface. And I think that I'm trying to prove to myself that I can still do it. Um, and I also, distinctly believe that there is a difference between life force and soul and that my life force is expendable and will be expended soon anyway. Oh. Um, so I, being incredibly motivated by spite, <laughs> am willing to spend some of it just to look cool. Um, and so I am... It feels to me like the cold feeling that wash out, washes over you right when you're about to pass out um, or, or when you're really ill and you feel actually like some part of your energy has been sapped from you um, in an exhale and also feels like the fear that you're going to be caught when you didn't do something wrong. Um, and I'm going to like willingly like chip off some time of my life and put it in a scale too. What does this look like? What does Lyra see? I am going to take the skeleton's hands with my own skeleton hands and for the briefest second, there is the sound of a pounding heartbeat coming up from deep within the water. But the actual magic doesn't, it looks like a compassionate embrace. It looks like love. It looks like when you hold someone's hand and you really care about them and it feels cold in the room and, and maybe the shadows get a little bit darker, but where I'm standing, it just looks like really trying to will someone into feeling better. And because you rolled projection and it's your energy in this thing, and you are animating it with Currency you haven't traded in in a long time. Time itself. It doesn't, the, the skeleton doesn't become re-imbued with the spirit that used to inhabit it. It's bones animated by some of your borrowed time. You don't feel a personality there. You don't really feel a connection to it because it's not, again, it's borrowing something from you. 
and it stands next to you. Upright. Featureless. Still. Hold your hand. What happens next? Ha! Oh! I knew I could do it! <laughs> <laughs> the, ooh, I th that you scared me a little bit. Um, that was beautiful. That wow, what? You, so is that is that like our, your friend now, or what happens now? Honestly, I I don't want to haul rope, so I think it'll be some of that. You are so powerful. Thank you. Like I don't. Uh, yeah, you're, that was incredible. Thank you. Yeah, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, um, upstairs now, and you, do I, do, do they have a name, or, um? I mean, I guess we could name them. We can name them together? You can name them if you want. I, um, I don't can know. Can I make the skeleton, like, hold out a hand? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. The skeleton's like, it's like a handshake. It's like my birthday party right now. I am <laughs> so happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad. <laughs> oh, uh, you look like, you look like a Lucy to me. Um. Attention crew. <laughs> <laughs> to commemorate the discovery of my soul and the fact that this must be the best of all possible worlds. Also, hello, Lucy. Uh, hey, who's Lucy? <laughs> Animated oh, skeleton. There's an oh, animated shit. skeleton of indeterminate longevity and origin inside me. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I've come up with a good name because this is the best of all possible worlds, and it's me. Welcome to the dystopia. <laughs> you just hear doors. <laughs> just opening and shutting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, technically, there's a skeleton in all of us of unknown origin. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> nice. Good girl. Are you just just to check? Just cruise is control. Just driving it, and you're just like hundred percent. I, I think at direction. some point, like you like sneeze in your hand, and it, like the the wheel is still doing the same thing. <laughs> yeah. <I'm just> like, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the storm has started to break a little bit, so uh, it's much smoother sailing. Um, and this, the ship itself still is a little bit of a skeleton in its own right. Yeah. Um, there's the frame of it, but the the rigging and like the masts and the sails, you feel wind filling sails and like you everyone hears like the like rattle of like metal and rope and cloth. There's nothing there. This is truly a ghost ship. I mean, well, it's a skeleton ghost ship. Shit. As you just, because you are sa the sailing this with the force of your own will and just you know how ships work. Yeah. This this sails. This is how sailing works. Yeah, you're, it sails when you're, the wind fills your sails and the mast <laughs> and it blows. And like, it's just dis associating going like yeah i can feel all the all the normal things that make the boat happen are happening and you do feel that it is shame on you draining <laughs> i can do this so long Very i'm bad. so sorry in oops you named yourself a prefix <laughs> boopsie. <laughs> now boopsie so now boopsie uh, so you you do feel that this does take quite a bit of effort. Uh, this isn't something that you necessarily would want to continue long term. Yeah. But it isn't actually that long of a journey to idle tides. Uh, it's going to take some maneuvering to get there mm -hmm. uh, in one piece even. But you think you can do it and then maybe you want to nap after. Okay. <laughs> uh, I think I maintain frozen masthead mm -hmm. and I'm just sort of Sound and there is a question like every couple minutes. Mm -hmm. Am I going the right way? Yes. Am I going the yes. right way? Uh, to the left. To the south. Left. South. Yeah. I don't have. It. Do you have a compass? South I... doesn't actually mean anything to me. I'm on wire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Wait, 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 wait. Port. 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 Okay. Direction. Like a bunch. Port a bunch. Port a little. 
I'm just doing what it. What a bunch. Okay. Hard that. <laughs> <Just overcorrect. laughs> That's what you said. Okay. Do what you say. <laughs> Wee. This is the best day of my life. I could die tomorrow. <laughs> you, uh, with that, with that uh, rough, um, like, twist to port, you know that what needs to happen next is that a boom needs to f- uh, swing across. <laughs> And a ghost boom goes by. <laughs> and you do, you feel the... But you're used to it. Yeah. Uh, uh, in preparation for getting into, like, up to shore, mm-hmm. into port, uh, I will stash so many weapons inside of my clothing. Mm-hmm. Um, every weapon that could fit inside of my clothing <laughs> is in there. And then on the outside is my gun and my sword. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, and then I will also grab my favorite set of dice. And shove those in my pocket. Nice. Okay. Anybody else making any other kind of preparations? Can we take a whole sleep? Yeah, you'll have time. This is. It's gonna take. Uh. Well over a. I'd say maybe two days to get. Okay. Well, then I won't shove all the knives in Do my now. clothing before it's... we nap. Yeah. That'll yeah, be yeah. after once we're like rolling up. Mm-hmm. Are there more bones? Yeah, I want to explore the You're ship. Welcome to explore the ship. Let's do that. Yeah, yeah look, for, look for more ship. bones. Sure. Yeah, look for more bones. I want to look for um, treasure or uh, herbs and spices and magical things. Waterlogged herbs and spices. Yeah. 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 Dry them out. <laughs> Take yeah. a while. Yeah, yeah. dried herbs. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, 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 sure. Roll. This is our cry. Oh, treasure. <laughs> it's a pipe ship. Yeah, that's what I mean. There's yeah. something. Uh, roll for bones and or treasure. Okay. Bones and treasure. Great, great, great. Sure, sure, sure. Oh. What's every little bones? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to try to sense bones. Sense bones. Um, That's a thing you can do. Because I got bones. I'm spooky. I'm going listen, to listen for I'm, bones. Like if they make a little xylophone noise when I turn really hard <laughs> off. <laughs> they make this sound. <laughs> so I will say you you can listen, but you got to so zigzag, good. and everybody has to roll to hold on. Hey, I will knock all these bones loose. Everyone, hold on. Just gonna rattle some Serpentine. bones. Serpentine. <laughs> I will. I will success on sensing bones. Yeah, you realize you have to do another stealth, right? If you're gonna try and draw on your connection with death again. Yes. Okay. I love this game. Oh, I'm golden, baby. Are we so snuck? I am powered by. I got a 33 under 70. Oh, nice. wow. Come on, it's not good. It's not, so it's not good. Okay. It's a hard <laughs> success, baby. Um, I'm looking for like hidden places on the ship uh, that have stuff um, and like just trinkets and treasure. Uh, and I rolled a 14. Wow. Yeah. Give us stuff. <laughs> <laughs> under what? Under um, 60. Wow. Incredible. Okay. Is there anything, before I offer something, mm. is there anything that you specifically want to have been dream Like, what's on your list? Uh, if I could find, oh, this is so lame, but I want it so bad. If I could have a book of just like, um, I don't know, somebody's diary of things that they've seen or treasures that they're looking for, um, that would be awesome. Um, also, I would love to find any and all jewelry I can gift to my friends. Um, but history and jewelry. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. The two genders. The two genders, <laughs> history and jewelry. Okay. Um, <laughs> historical jewelry. Hist- uh, mm. <laughs> I find myself in historical jewelry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my favorite genre. All right. So here's what you find. Okay. Uh, poking around, again, there's not a ton of space below decks. This isn't a, like, very extensive mm-hmm. uh, craft. However, uh, below, like, the bulkhead, uh, you notice that there is a, um, a plank that's a little bit loose um, that uh, was kind of kicked forward in the repair that Dis was doing mm-hmm. uh, that looked as though it like, was a concealed, like, little cubby or something there. Um, and as you press into it, 
and it um, like juts out. You're able to almost like slide out a hidden drawer. In that drawer is a leather pouch that definitely feels like jangly and heavy. Ooh, um, okay, okay. And a leather bound tome. Uh, it's inscribed oh, God. with <laughs> symbols, uh, not quite runes, not quite lettering. You've never really seen symbols or writing like this before, um, but it feels arcane. Um, I think I pull out the jewelry and I'm like, hell yeah. I take out the book and I am so like, it is everything to me. I accidentally instinctually throw the jewelry <laughs> behind me. <laughs> and like... Lucy just... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hot hands. <laughs> and just like stare, just like starstruck at this tome. This uh, arcane book of things I don't understand. <laughs> But we're not just gonna read it out loud. No, no, no. Wait, does that do something? No. If we read it out loud? No. It doesn't do anything. It does it do not... something for you? <laughs> <laughs> just <Well, we're> all... <laughs> minding my business. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, no, we're not gonna just read it out loud willy-nilly. Of course. That would be irresponsible. You're an expert on um, on this. Thank, thank you. Yeah. Um, but we should look at it together, right? Yes. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's awesome. This is just fun. This is just fun activity. Yeah. Thank you. It's like relaxing, you know? <laughs> yeah, just fun. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's, uh, Oh, I uh, and I, you, the, uh, Lucy has the bag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks. Oh, uh, and I open this. I can do the, um, yes, I hand it to you. Uh, you find uh, two long, uh, heavy gold chains with uh, large pendants oh. of uh, faceted uh, gem, like a really large, un unlike unpolished, uh -huh. but so it looks like a raw cut gem that's got like some almost facet cut into it. But we're not gonna put them near each other, <laughs> just to be safe. So superstitious. Well, uh, you think I would do that to you? <laughs> Which one do you want? They're both so beautiful. I'd love to gift you one. Uh, this one is, well, it has like the, the sapphire inlay and it's gorgeous. This one's ruby. I like red. You are. Thanks, thanks, thank you. Of thank course. you so much. This is very, thank you. I, I, <laughs> I mean, it's, I, mm -hmm. it's probably not cursed. If that's what you're No, it is 100% cursed, but here's the thing. I'm going to wear it and I don't care. So it's great. Well, I'm going to give the other one a piper. So is it's, this cursed? It's definitely probably cursed. Oh, I'll just let her know. Um, so she knows. I just let her know. <laughs> <laughs> Can I roll to know if they're cursed? Because like, I mean, if I'm, I'm going to put it on, I will die happily. But like, I should roll a, a cult. You could probably roll a cult. Yeah, I'll, I'll roll a cult. Three. I got three. Oh my god! Oh. That side of the table is OP on the roll. Yeah, We're yeah, yeah. trade, dice trade. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Ooh, Roll for curse. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna say this. Yeah. You rolled a three. Yeah. What do you want? Um, I this, want... this is a kind of attached to like, I asked you what you wanted. Do you want a curse? Do you want curse jewelry? I want one to be cursed and I don't know which one it is. <laughs> okay, cool, because I was actually going to say that that was what was happening. I love that we're on the same page. So right, that's super my you do sense, <laughs> as do you, it was why you, your hackles kind of went up. You do sense that there is a curse on something. Can I know which one it is? No. OK. <laughs> Zero three. I love that whoever put them in the bag was like, Figure it out. I'll figure it out later. I'll do it later. <laughs> Just shake it up and be like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you tell me that you know one is cursed? Yeah, I feel like I don't hide things well. Uh, yeah, so one of them is cursed, but we don't know necessarily if it's a good curse or a bad curse because the good curses do exist. And it could they be. They do? That's called a blessing. <laughs> That's a different. No, I'm not there. I'm not word. there, but. I think that's this a is there. <laughs> this is always there. Yeah. Some curses like immortality, which some people are like, oh no, 
I don't want to live forever, but that's kind of cool. Okay. Mm. Oh no. We okay. You well, made a good point. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. Gee, we should uh, listen. Giving me the curse one, totally fine. I'll be delighted, and I'm. But I, I want Piper to know I'm thinking about her too. Yes. But which one do you think is most cursed? Um. Ooh. I'm Piper likes sure. blue. This. What? You are gonna kill your friend by accident. No, she's so like the strongest person I've ever met. Yep. She'll be fine. Yeah, Whatever, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let Piper know. She's got so many knives. <laughs> no, I'm just hyperventilating because just speak nice about me. <laughs> just feel it in the steering wheel. She's got a lot of knives, so she'll be fine. Stab so curse. curse is what? Do you know that? Yes. You know how all curses work, but you don't know which one is cursed? So it sounds like you don't know everything about curses, and maybe you can... Maybe you could hurt them with knives if you I, want. I lis listen, I recognize that pulling a ship out from the bottom of the mm -hmm. ocean is actually logistically a lot cooler Ooh. than reviving a skeleton, no. but I did I just revive really cool. a skeleton, awesome. so I feel... I think they're both cool. That was very cool. I just want everyone to live. Also, another good but curse... But if they die, you bring them back. That's not the, how oh. that works. Um, Lucy would beg to disagree. Rattles. Yeah. yeah! I make the boat waggle. <laughs> Xylophone. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I've let the record show I will follow her around like a puppy. I do think this is going to go badly. This is, is going to be bad. Okay. <laughs> I think so. But it could be good. But like some curses are good. Like, um, okay, imagine a curse, right? Where you are always hungry. That's a curse. That's bad. But if you, you can just eat forever, that's also good. I love food. Can Another I have a point. better example? Okay, so um, you have to... <laughs> As they're talking, like, incoming. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just explaining many different... Okay, so imagine you're forced curse? to live forever. You live forever, but then you have to watch no, everyone let that you come love up die. organically. <laughs> so you just have to be in a, in, a, in a place mentally where you're just making a lot of friends, new ones. And, like, you have to be, like, neutral about this... Circle. Oh, yeah, gosh, that's Not a lot of therapy on the high seas. Uh, no, that's that's fair. I'm gonna think on that because <laughs> I kind of would like to live forever. <laughs> that would you're you live forever. I'm yeah. just gonna hold on to this book. No! Yeah, uh -huh. no. <laughs> yeah, we'll hang out and we'll read it, but I'm Mar just gonna Marlo. <laughs> <laughs> You don't, you don't really trust me with this book? It's not that I don't trust you, it's that I really want you to live and, but I am not forever. She's stealing your book. Listen, yeah. huh? listen, we, we don't have to make a lot of rash decisions we can't take back <laughs> right now, okay? We, you have a beautiful piece of jewelry and, the, and the, I am giving away the treasure and all I want is the book. Okay, but... I'll give you the book, but you have to pinky promise, which is a binding contract. Yeah, I know how pinky promises work. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that right. you won't read it without me. Oh, that's a deal. I want to read it with you. It's our bonding activity. You have to pinky promise. <laughs> pinky promise. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. It's sealed. <laughs> I'm going to... I feel like I just felt my ex-husband like laugh. <laughs> you like feel like someone's watching you and Lucy's just like over your shoulder like this. <laughs> I'm just whispering to you on the deck like, oh no, an iceberg, turn! <laughs> turn! <laughs> no ice. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm just making little sounds like <laughs> in the tropics. <laughs> I know, I'm but I'm having a good time. So you, so you are headed back over to yeah. Piper with yes. maybe a piece of cursed jewelry? Maybe, Is that what's happening? Yeah. Um, hey, Piper? Uh, I found a weird part of the ship, not weird, a secret part of the ship um, that had this tome in it. Um, nice. Right? And also necklaces. <gasps> um, so uh, Marlo has one and, and I wanted to give you the other one, but caveat, um, one is cursed, but some Which cursed, one? I, I don't know. All right. There you go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll put it on uh, around with my locket. Yeah, gambler. I'm okay, also cool. gonna put yep. this on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
That now, was very generous of you. Is there anything I can do to roll now that I have it on? I'm taking the risk. Now that you have it on, can I ooh. insight check it? Ooh. I don't have a cult. She's See, like, now that you have it on, though, <laughs> now that each of you are wearing a necklace, I just want you both to make me just like a percentile roll. Mm. And I'm going to decide yeah. what it is. Best of luck to you. Bye. May the odds be ever in your favor. Never tell me the odds. I Ooh. got a two. I got an eight. That's so that's ridiculous. That's so Here's crazy. the thing. I want my lie to be considered wanting the cursed necklace because I want my friends to live. But some curses are I good. can't believe we both rolled under 10. That's so good. We're really good at this. Oh my god. It's the best roll I've had all game. Both of you just feel a little bit of a chill and you feel, you feel totally normal. Cool necklace though. Aww. Good for now. <laughs> Not sure. <laughs> it's really bringing out the color of your eyes. Thank you. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Oh my god. This is great. I love new... Is this like... I mean dystopia. Dystopia. Mm. I love dystopia. I love dystopia. I love you too. <laughs> I hate the pirate queen. Let's go. That was very cool. Well, you reanimated a skeleton. I just found a book <gasps> in a crack. It was very cool. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, let. Who's hungry? You are hungry? 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 You don't eat. No. Focus. Okay. You don't I okay? think I could take my hands off the wheel for a little. <laughs> I pretend to oh, spin no! wildly and then immediately like right and it just keeps going. <laughs> um, yeah, I would love to eat and get some rest. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, so with staggered watches. Um, you don't have to watch. I'll tell you if something bad happens. I you have absolutely to... keep a watch. Yeah, that's not going to happen. I don't get to sleep because I'm kind of only sailing under the power of my will, and it will probably be fine. I refuse to sleep. It's well. love, though. Hmm? We love you, so we're going to keep watch. Yeah. <laughs> you love me. Yeah. <gasps> so I'll sit like on don't the sing, front of the sing. boat with my feet dangling <laughs> off <laughs> for my watch. Above the water, above the water, above the water. <laughs> Every so often, just like a, a, a plank or two will kind of just like, just trail off. Yeah. Oh, Start, you starting to, the closer you get to idle tides, the more like trail of like flotsam and jetsam you leave yeah. behind you. It's honestly um, easier. Start coming apart at the seams, like just a little. Like a little too bad. A treat. You just, you know, there's only, there's only so much you can sustain. Uh, you are, hammock. you are sailing. Yeah. It's working. It's fine. We're fine. I have all the parts of boats that you need, and I swing my invisible boom. <laughs> uh, um, so where I hang out while I'm taking watch, mm -hmm. um, because um, I have an affinity to like the stars and just I don't know the solitude of just nighttime. I'm in like the bird's nest. Place in a boat. Yeah, crow's nest. Crow's, mm -hmm. crow's nest. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm there. I'm my favorite person. <laughs> Ours is called the birdhouse. The birdhouse. <laughs> it's so important to note once again. I don't have masks. You have a. You, you have one. one. Oh, one. okay. Yeah. Remember, do the pose. Yeah, the pose. That's why I know it's there. <laughs> well, that's right. Make one angry one. There yes. you go. Yes, yes. So good. So I'm on there. Okay. Um, and yeah, I'm just keeping watch there. Um. If you are like not busy, you can be in there too. I've never been busy in my life. <laughs> cool. Um, we can just like watching the stars and just kind of keeping each other company while we're doing watch. And then I probably fall asleep up there. Is that what you're? <clears throat> I was just yeah. I was just trying to see what you're doing. Okay. You gave me an eyeball. I'm like, do I have knockout sleep? Give <laughs> 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 a dream. Look better. Yeah. Yeah. Night -night. <laughs> I will plan because of the vision that. You you described to all of us, mm -hmm. I will plan to overlap with your watch Smart. to make sure that, like, yeah. we're all chilling and we're all into different things now, mm -hmm. but, like, Piper is so furious that she didn't get there in time in the dream that, mm -hmm. like, that oh. absolutely will not happen again, so she will be there early and waiting for her watch, just in case. So, actually, none of us are sleeping. <laughs> you are. Yeah. You're we're going to get some rest. Yeah. Just, oh, yeah. Little it's just a little, little pops. It's a normal thing when you're on the water. We're all going to die. You so please I'm not. Out. Please be awake. I'm not. I'm awake and being such a good boy. Oh, shit. Don't go to the back of me. It's not on anymore. <laughs> it's just the 
front of the boat. <laughs> the voyage has started to become a little bit harrowing as the uh, sun begins to crest above the horizon as you've all been uh, switching off watches. Uh, idle tides begins to come into view. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you uh, grasping onto dear life. We're doing great for uh, the, on the, the, the shape and the skeleton of this boat. You uh, are slowly making your way, leaving again the trail of ship parts and wood and, and detritus behind you. What if we need to make our way back? I'm leaving a breadcrumb trail. You sure are. Uh, thank goodness people can find that island again. Uh, this is probably going to be a good thing. Um, you see uh, looming larger in your vision this collection of like a ramshackle jetty with a, a veritable menagerie of ships and watercraft and... Uh, of all kinds, uh, festooned in a variety of colors, flying different banners. Um, there are uh, a couple of pubs and taverns spilling out onto the jetty. It's already very loud. You're starting to hear uh, just like the discordant jangles of a bunch of different kinds of music, uh, just like mushed together. Uh, you're starting to hear um, shouting, uh, maybe it's fighting, maybe it's cheering, it's probably both. And up a little bit on a sl on slightly higher ground, still overlooking the ocean and the jetty, you see the viper's nest. A uh, finely constructed uh, large tavern in Bordello, which you know to be the seat of power of Belladonna Cain, your former shipmate. I hate this place, but God, it's nice to be somewhere with people. Oh, yeah. And <sighs> as you approach the jetty, you're starting to uh, get a little bit of an audience mm -hmm. as they're watching the ship just start to... <sighs> I'm doing my best, I'm doing my best above the water, above the water, halfway above the water, same Please thing. Please stay all the way above the water. <sighs> You start to realize days. you start to realize that maybe everybody should be on the deck at the mm -hmm, very mm -hmm, least, mm -hmm. making sure on the top, on the top, on the top, on the top. Grab the <laughs> stuff you want. Grab the stuff you want. Uh, as you start to kind of uh, maybe have to climb just a little. Um, I don't know what Lucy's doing. <laughs> as it starts to make a little bit of a more diagonal yeah. approach into the jetty, as you start to hear the jeers and laughter of your fellow pirates as they're watching you sink a ship in a forward direction. <laughs> yeah. It's called feeling forward. Yeah. All of you male pirates should know all about that, shouldn't you? There it is. Um, I consider it front door service, you know? <laughs> right. Door to door. Door to door to door. <laughs> dock to dock. We love to dock see to it. Dock. Do we make it to the dock? As you <laughs> hit that jetty, not hit hit, you're, you're, it's a, it's uh. a nice, uh, easy embarkation, but as you start to step I'm foot, Tokyo drift into that jetty. Yeah. Um, you feel it start to go, yeah. this. Uh, so you have a decision to make, whether you follow it or you stay with your friends. Uh, as long as I can get everyone dryly onto the dock. Yeah, they I, as they they're stepping directly onto the jetty at this point because they don't have there's no gangplank. It's yeah. just right there. I'll oh. reach out a hand for you to like step up with uh. us after everyone gets off. Uh, I think she's been frozen as the masthead, but then it's going to like turn so just the masthead is like kind of peeking above as everything else goes, and then she's going to peel herself off and uh, starts moving again for the first time in a couple days. And I think that sort of like sleep deprived uh, sort of fever dream and she looked like a harpy she just gets off and looks at the closest like pirate that was like laughing and jeering and is just going to screech in his face oh. you got something to say say it to my face do you have like command or intimidate or I don't like I have ship <laughs> roll for ship roll for ship 81 <laughs> Over 80. <laughs> so now you use the luck. Luck. You gotta have the luck for that. I use one luck point. I'm trying to like save some status here with the group by being like, I was a boat, I saw it. That was a part of it. And then the, uh, that just rage and shock, he just goes just pale white, that pees a little, and dives off the jetty. 
Uh, okay, maybe that was a bit hard. Yeah. Um, I liked it. It was. I, I gotta go to sleep. Let's go I to lay, a room. I lay down right here. No. no. We'll get you a room. Yeah, we're, we're gonna go no, sleep down soon. right here. No. And um, as. As he, <laughs> as you lie down, Dis, yeah, and you touch the wood of the jetty, no, yeah. no, yeah. you just get this shock of familiarity and recognition, as the um, as the man who has now like kind of evacuated the space in that just and evacuated absence the space. and evacuated all the I'm space. Na- I'm next to the pea puddle. No. Yeah, no, 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 you got some, no. space. You got some mm-hmm. space. You got some space from it. Just, this for me, you got some space <laughs> from it. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you, all of your eyes raise to uh, a ship a few slips up on the jetty. <gasps> that looks incredibly familiar. Feels incredibly oh. familiar. But flying new colors. <gasps> Unmistakable colors. Ones you'd recognize anywhere. <laughs> it's flying the flag of Captain Belladonna Kane. <gasps> Oh, no, no way. I am going to kill you. I put my hand on my pistol and I start moving towards the ship. I, yeah. I just point from down on the jetty. Oh, fun joke. I grab Lu- <laughs> Lucy's hand because Lucy's closest to me. And mm-hmm. by the way, Lucy is clothed because yeah, modest. Sure. Um, yeah. <laughs> what? I don't mean like we're going to go to town. They there is no na- nudity in skeletons. But is it John to have a skeleton? Ideally. Oh. No, I put, I put, I, put, I just wanted to. You can make it a outfit. surprise. Okay, it's a little outfit. A little outfit's different. Yeah, a little outfit. Okay, you got a little, you got a little outfit skeleton. That's all I wanted. As you all begin, okay. As you all begin to gather your forces uh, in the face of your home, yourself, Fortune's Fair, your ship, uh, you see a familiar figure uh, emerge from the crowd, smiling sneering really and she tilts her head and just beckons to you Marlo Mm -mm. and then melts back into the crowd and kill her I was can I roll for pistol oh I did roll for pistol but if she's melted that's fine too no you want to take a shot yeah cool in a crowd yeah oh I rolled a 49 under 70 We enter Kane. places with or a Beckett. lot of energy. <laughs> Kane. Mm-hmm. Oh, heck yeah. And firing a missile weapon in a target engaged in melee combat in a crowd is minus 20%, but I still got it. Oh. <laughs> you still got it. And you're not like necessarily engaged in, in melee yet as another familiar figure to you pushes uh. her or pulls her back. Uh, makes eye contact with you and then strides forward. Another old friend, familiar mostly to you, I don't actually know if many of you have met her, smiles and then turns towards the viper's nest. And that is where we will end today's episode. Yeah! <laughs> thank you all so much for joining us on this first episode of our adventure. Uh, thank you so much for Chaosium, uh, for our basic role-playing system and sponsoring the show. We have three more episodes for you. Uh, before we sail off into the sunset, <laughs> let's say hello to our players one more time. Hey, I'm Sage Ryan, and I have been Piper, ready to commit murder. I am Abria Iyengar, and I've been Dis. A ship that can be so many ships, and not even all of it. Incredibly impressive. So impressive. Hey, I'm Rowan Hall. I have been Marlo Clark, your ship's surgeon and necromancer. <laughs> Hi, I'm Serena Marie. I have been uh, Lyra Polaris, your ship's navigator, and please curse me. <laughs> curse me mommy <laughs> and I am Kaylee Bray uh, your ship's captain for this adventure and apparently the NPCs that keep getting adopted I should have expected that we'll see you all very soon bye, bye.